This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Order giant, freshly dipped strawberries starting at $19.99. That's over a 40% savings. Double the berries for just $10 more. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and use code TEETH. That's berries.com and the code TEETH. This show is sponsored by NatureBox. NatureBox ships great tasting, wholesome snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and start snacking smarter with wholesome, delicious treats like dark cocoa almonds. Support this podcast by ordering a free NatureBox sampler box at naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Hey everyone, welcome to the Roost Teeth Podcast. Hey. Hello. I feel like it's been Hi. a long time since I've said that. It's been three weeks. It's been Four five weeks. weeks. The, yeah. last five episode, weeks? the last episode I was on was November 3rd. Barb and, Barb and I are pretty stressed. We had to, we alternated booking the podcast. That's terrible. why I have you guys here. Thanks. You all are my buds. Terrible. You're welcome. I am, not, <laughs> Chris. I am not jealous of you for that role. It's, uh, at all. It's hard. It sucks. Yeah. It but so it's stressful. fun. We mm-hmm. get to have conversations and talk. Yay. Yeah. Chris, are you going to talk this whole podcast? Isn't your mouth numb? No, no, it's gotten better. <laughs> oh, I was really worried it was it was still going to be numb by the time we got on the... Chris, had, why's your mouth numb? No, no, wait. Chris, Chris went to the dentist, and he was like, I haven't been to the dentist in three years. And I was like, oh, man, that's going to be rough. He's like, no, I'm sure it'll be fine. So he goes there, and he comes back, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, it's totally fine. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I just have three cavities. <laughs> <laughs> they were, it's a normal checkup. No, 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 they said they were really small cavities. And, and, a uh, cavity is a cavity. It's a all, rotten tooth. Were they all on one side of your mouth, or are they on multiple um, sides? They were just in the back, the, my back molar. She said, guess. On that back. side? All on the same uh, side? One there, one there. Okay. And I don't know where the other That's one is. That's two. Yeah, I don't, know where the, I don't know where the third one is. This is Chris math. <laughs> one's there, one's one there, plus one's one somewhere. Makes three. Yeah, I was just like, just take care of it. And then she did. But yeah, no, so she gave me the shot and stuff. And then, you know, I got numb and I got back. And I'm like, I got to talk on a podcast. <laughs> I hope I... You were really considerate, though. Like, you did not want to show up with, you know, your teeth all gross. So you brushed your teeth, but you didn't have time. So you, you brushed it in the car. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Is that your toothbrush in the parking lot? No, there's a toothbrush on the ground. <laughs> I've been wondering um, who's that in okay. for like the longest Maybe. time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the one I brushed with today. Oh, okay. But that might be my toothbrush <laughs> because I had a toothbrush in my pocket the other day and it disappeared. Is it red? Was it red and white? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Everyone here has seen that toothbrush, right? Yeah, everyone's laughing in the control room. They all know what the fucking toothbrush I'm talking about is. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, that might be mine. <laughs> Are you just gonna leave Disgusting. it there? Or are you gonna? I'm not gonna go get what are you. Just, I'm gonna go get it right now. No, go throw it out. <laughs> no, just wait yeah. till after the podcast. You got yeah. time. Go out there with a the flashlight. Oh, uh, some who was it? Someone sent an email like to everyone at the company earlier, being like, "Is this your little guy?" Like they found like oh, a little yeah. plastic yeah. figure in the parking lot. Was my little. Dude. No, they said, "Is this your small person?" Oh. <laughs> and I thought someone found like a child wandering around at first, mm. and then I realized it was just a figure that they were talking about. Nice. Well, we so all- were you like full on drooling like that whole deal? Uh, it was. It was. You know, it was kind of that way for a while. I, I, I like we were eating pizza before the podcast and uh, Chris was like took a bite out of it. He was like sitting there chewing it for a while. Took another bite. He was like, oh, this pizza's really good. <laughs> I, I feel like my taste buds are delayed because my mouth is not. <laughs> <laughs> I like two no, bites the, the, to decide. The pizza was spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't know until like way later. <laughs> <laughs> we're going like, to wake up tomorrow and be like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like going to the gym or no, I just go going and take a shower and stuff and I was like, hmm, it's something spicy. I don't know what that was. I don't know if the air's crisp the, or something. Or what. The air is crisp? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucked up taste buds do you have? His surgery also made his taste buds super heightened. Yeah. <laughs> he tastes the air now. <laughs> Which is quite spicy. It's funny. I went to the dentist uh, like a year ago. And I actually had to do the recap, like right as soon as I got back when uh-huh. half my face was still numb. So you could see me like talking in it like... Oh, <laughs> we really have a lot of videos this weekend. <laughs> like, I look so jacked up. I want to see that one. It was good. Did, it was any, the, did uh, anybody notice? It was the one where we threw stuff at Alan. I don't know if you the guys The first time? It. Yes. The eggs? Yes, the okay. eggs and everything. Okay. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Like a year ago. Yeah. Okay. It was in the old office. <laughs> that was a result of hours of scripts and Not brainstorming. Really. No. But I also recap. had three cavities <laughs> when oh. I went to the dentist that time. Was it three years? No. Oh, okay. No. I go like once every 10 years and they're like, yeah, your teeth are great. I'm like, sweet. See you in a decade. See, you guys are crazy. I don't. I'm, I'm well, fine. if he does, if he doesn't have I, like, cavities. I'm, I'm doesn't lucky. Have... I was born without wisdom teeth, so I never had to get them pulled. And I think I've only ever had like three cavities and it was when I was a kid and they got He's filled. evolved to a higher shape. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have weak teeth like you puny <laughs> humans. I have mighty, <laughs> <laughs> mighty implements of death in my mouth. Is it your oh liver God, also You have like really razor good? sharp teeth. I do. And if when I fucking bite my cheek, I bite the shit out of my cheek. Yeah. 
They told yeah. me I'm going to have all my teeth capped because apparently I grind my teeth. And every time I go to the dentist for the last four years, they're like, you need to wear a mouth guard. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Oh, yeah. So they're like, nice. My, my teeth are nice and smooth. But it's crazy how the technology at doctor's office has advanced so much, more so than the, the reception is. Yeah. So like, I'll go there and they'll schedule me for six months uh, in the future. And then I'll get a call from them asking, you know, hey, do you want to schedule your appointment? And I'll call back and I'll leave a voicemail. I won't hear back for four days. And I'm like, oh, sorry, uh, I didn't know. Do you want to you wanna schedule? I was like, your computer already sent me a text message telling me to be there tomorrow morning. Well, you're like, talking about scheduling software, not like dentist software. Like, no, what did like, you think I meant? <laughs> dentist software? I don't know. <laughs> like, just We got the new filling 3.0. Well, no, that's what I mean. Like, in, like advancements in dentist no, technology. No, I just mean like the, like the office stuff. It's just like they, the system is easier than they can comprehend. Yeah. I think we go to the same dentist because I also get like a text message alert like two months oh, before. Do you my go to the dentist in my apartment complex? Yes, actually. That sounds super shady. Just for, it's like <laughs> there's this good guy down like the, the hall. Like the landlord that's also a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> What's going so on? The last time I went to the dentist was when Rooster Teeth was still in the apartment in Buda. And so I, I went to the dentist that was like across the street from there. And to this day, that fucking dentist office texts me happy birthday on my birthday every <laughs> year. <laughs> every year, I'm like, who the fuck is it? Oh, it's the dentist office in Buda. <laughs> was it just like birthday. eight texts of happy birthday? Happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never replied? I just figured some fucking automated thing. I'll see if I can if I can find their. Should their Imagine if it's a person who every single year texts you happy birthday because they feel like that'll make you feel special. And they're like, Maybe he never it does. came back. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I'm searching through my text messages for birthday. So you haven't <laughs> been to the dentist since then? No. What if something's really fucked up in your mouth? That's fine. It would hurt then, right? I guess. Yeah. See? I, my cavities didn't hurt, but... Well, my, my ca- mine didn't hurt either. I just so like... Here, here's, here's the most recent one. <laughs> what does it say? Uh, Gustavo, happy birthday from everyone at our office! Exclamation point. We love having you as our patient. They had Martin me as their Creed. patient like six years before <laughs> this, by the way, one time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, wow. apparently you made quite oh, the wait, impression. Yeah. This is from this is from the place that does my eye exams. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the dentist. <laughs> this don't is another think, fucking place that just texts me happy birthday. Don't you think they would try to scare you into making an appointment? You would it's think like so. Us, your vision is significantly worse. See, here's, yeah. here's the other one. With every this year is the one age. from the dentist. Just so you can see, I'm not full of shit. Okay. You can see that the office. We name love is having you as our patient. It's the exact <laughs> same thing. Is it's, it the same like it's, brand? It's the exact same like fucking information management system. It's like the same text. They just like put their practice name at the end. That's so <laughs> ridiculous. That, that's why I'm not concerned about replying to the fucking. Wouldn't it be sad if that was the text? only thing wishing you a happy birthday every year? Like if you had no friends or colleagues or <laughs> you anything. You just like book that. a lot. You go to a lot of different dentists. So it's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I'm so popular. Yeah. My friends yeah. text me. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. So I've been, I've been a lot of places in the uh, amount Drag of time I've been it. gone. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk about all of them. So uh, we'll go into more detail. But I went to um, to the Halo launch event. In, uh, in LA. Uh, I went to Australia for a couple weeks and this past weekend I was at the Sony PlayStation Experience oh, in Vegas. Awesome. What did you get me? a lot of fun. I didn't get you anything. I'm sorry. Oh, d- didn't you... Didn't you ask me that about something? He you went, asked me that on he Twitter. Went to, uh, yeah. You went to the Simpsons park. Oh, no, there was a thing where I remember jokingly asking you if you got me anything from the Simpsons park. This <laughs> was a couple of years ago. <laughs> and you were like, no. Why would I do that? You went on this huge rant. And then when I was there, I totally forgot about that. And I was like, hey, I should get Barbara and Gus something. <laughs> and then after I bought it, I remembered that. And I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to go spend the time to return. I know, and you still gave it to me, yeah. and I was like, well, yeah. great, now I feel like an even bigger piece of <laughs> shit now, like you actually got that me something. That was the goal. No, you didn't. I did. I actually did feel a, a little bad. A Not a lot, but bad. a little bad. Um, like I said, I went down to uh, Australia, and then someone uh, in Brisbane said they were tired of seeing, they were tired of seeing Bernie in a Sydney Roosters hat all the time, so mm-hmm. they gave me a Brisbane Broncos jersey. Do you oh, want to awesome. show the back or just say what's on the back? Uh, it's got my name. It says Sorola on it. I don't, I'm, I, I'm wired in, otherwise I'd turn around and show Your the camera. Is it a rugby? Yeah, it's rugby. Oh, man. Have you ever played rugby? Fuck no. <laughs> he would break in I, half. I would die. My perfect no, no, teeth, teeth would go would, away. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be it. That's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the black box. <laughs> the way he lived with a mouth full of evolved teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I heard the craziest story about these rugby players and I was like, well, I'm never doing that. Uh, apparently, you know, they, they just basically, they're in like this big hive. Like they're just in this giant ball and you don't know what's going Scrum. on. Sure. Mm-hmm. And apparently there was this player in professional league who tried to get the ball 
by shoving his thumb up some other dude's butt. <laughs> I'm sure that's common in rugby. Is it? Because, I, I mean, there's fingers and butts flying all over the place in that scrum. <laughs> so, but, I, I, <laughs> uh, Patrick, I have a Patrick segue. says yes. You have a segue from that? I have a segue from that. Oh. Right before the podcast started, <laughs> oh, no. we were talking about going to the doctor. And uh, I commented on how I've never had a prostate exam. Oh, I thought everybody's had a prostate exam. No. I don't think you're supposed to have a prostate exam until you turn 40, dude. Okay, like, well, Brandon was like, oh, prostate exams are the worst, right? And everyone just looked at him like, how fucking old are you? <laughs> I was at the doctor's office getting something done, and the doctor was like, well, while you're here, we should probably do your prostate exam. Maybe dude, you're so concerned. young. I, you, were you like, oh, it takes me forever to pee? No. Or, no yeah. It was just like, oh, it's, you know, good to do it, you know? And I, it might have been, a, maybe it was a urologist. It's well, kind of the, the same area. Maybe what this is like two years ago. Maybe Brandon is just like real fucked up and the doctor knows this and it's no. just like taking preventative what, what do you think? matters. Oh, it's worse than you could think or you'd imagine. And like they treat you right. They put on the glove. <laughs> they take you out they to dinner the, first. You know, they put the lube on and then you're like, no, more lube, more lube. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it is not comfortable. And then he was like, well, you have a enlarged prostate, so oh, it's probably no. not going to be good for you later on in life. And I was like, that, thanks. They, they're just trying to justify the fact you went up your butt. <laughs> That's it. <Yeah. laughs> He's like, I gotta tell him something. Yeah. Do they? Is it just like with their fingers? how many knuckles? Yeah, man, maybe he was my like regular doctor for some reason. Do they do? Your, <laughs> do they use fingers or do they have like a prostate tool? No, no, no. no. Fingers. Uh, this, it's fingers. It's two. I think it's two. It it's feels hard. like two. <laughs> I don't like two. Did, did, did you it, smell them afterwards? Did it feel like you were taking a shit in reverse? I don't. I. I don't know. It just felt like something. It just felt <laughs> like. It, it, if somebody like put like a balloon in there and they just inflated it completely <laughs> but he didn't like it was okay it's like he just put it in and like maybe did a tap but, like he didn't spin it around or anything there was nothing nothing funny about it appropriate about it um but I, I i was worried i was like i hope my hygiene is good you're like, were you like, no, were you like I hope I, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> yes, I, I was not. <laughs> it was like when Chris wanted to brush his teeth before he went to the dentist. <laughs> you wanted, what are you, you going to do? Stick a, is that what, Get I got a toothbrush out in the parking lot <laughs> if you want. Oh. I don't know, spray it down. <laughs> <laughs> spray it down, go to the bidet for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So we are already instantly talking about dicks and butts. Now I'm imagining you... Never mind. No, uh, wait, nothing. no, finish that thought, Barbara. No, I'm not finish imagining anything with a toothbrush and, or cleaning anything out. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you would brush out the undercarriage? No, <laughs> the handicapped showers, man. Those are the best. What? what? You know the shower, the thing that you can take off of the, oh. the wall, and then it's just... Stick it up your butt? Not up. But like that direction. Clean your butt. Uh -huh. It's like if you're going. It's like it, when your car's in a car wash and it's getting underneath. Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no one else has done this. Chris is, Chris is just no. letting him go. He's like, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to <laughs> some semblance of topic that I was talking about previously. The 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 flight to and from Australia sucks. It's like I looked it up. L.A. to Melbourne's only like the fifteenth longest route in the world. So apparently, there's fourteen longer flights you can take. Uh, and it's like fucking 15 and a half hours or some shit. So it's like all you do is sit there for 15 hours and watch every movie you've missed over like the last year. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then by the end of it, you're just like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like, like I had not seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet. I finally watched it. It's a good movie. No, it's, it's great. great. I watched it like three times. Like I watched it on, like, on, on, on three different plane trips. I was like, this movie's really good. Like the part I was most concerned about was Rocket Raccoon. Mm -hmm. He might have been the best part of the movie. No, oh, I know. I had the same thing because I, I, I don't really like... Uh, Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper yeah, that much, either. and yeah. he's like an animated cartoon raccoon thing, and yeah. He yeah. didn't like, overplay him too much in that movie, which I think is a good thing. He was, yeah. a, he was the, like the, the most three-dimensional character. Like, yeah. he had the most interesting backstory. Oh, yeah, also literally, that. too. <laughs> uh, the most interesting backstory, and, you know, how it changed. And the scene at the end where they all, like, grab each other, and they're able oh, to, yeah. like, suppress the... Oh, God, I lost it. That was so oh, good. Spoiler. Uh, what else did I watch? I watched uh, that. I watched 22 Jump Street which might be funnier than 21 Jump Street. Yeah, it's really good. It was really fucking good. What's the premise I, of 22 Jump Street? They go I to college there now. I, oh. thought 20, I was really surprised by 21 Jump Street. I was like, yeah. Well, I thought it was going to be a dumb, really dumb comedy. Those guys like, have good chemistry together. Yeah, with, yeah. 20, with 22 Jump Street, I was like, if they hit like 75% of 21 Jump Street, I'll be happy. Yeah. It was way better than that. Yeah, and they make fun of the fact that it's a dumb movie and how they're just going to redo the first movie. Yeah. And, 
you know, 21 Jump Street, that's an address, like a house. And so that burned down. So they moved to 22 Jump Street across the street. And as they're walking to it, you see that a condo is being built at 23 Jump Street. They're like, I feel like we're going to be back across the street just next year. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't it make a parody of like 27 Jump Street? Like yeah, the end yeah. Yeah. like a montage going like all the way to like 34 Jump yeah, Street okay. or something. I forget where I saw that, but yeah. yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, but it, they're constantly like very, it's a very, it's a movie that's very aware of very itself. Very self-reflective. And very aware. It's, it's yeah. not like a movie you go to like take seriously Mm -mm. yeah and they know i mean that's what makes it good and i feel like they're making fun of a lot of other movies in the genre like sequels (coughs) when they're like like horrible bosses 2 yeah horrible bosses 1 is good horrible bosses 2 is good it's the same movie Mm -hmm. but like have you seen horrible bosses 2 is that out yeah oh okay i haven't seen that yet yeah it's decent it's funny i'll watch that do you like the first one yeah it's the first like i I feel like that's very similar to to the 21 jump street series like with horrible bosses 2 i'm like if that's 75 percent of the movie the first one yeah i'll be happy yeah no it's they do the same thing yeah what else do you watch uh, what else? So then, there were a lot of movies. Oh, wait, then I also saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. Oh, is it good? It's okay. It's oh, really? about 75% of Dawn of the Planet <laughs> of the Apes. So, so did, yeah. you, did you like Dawn? I like Dawn. I, I like Dawn a lot. Yeah, I yeah, it's fucking, fucking awesome. amazing. Yeah. And uh, Rise is good, but it just wasn't as good as Dawn. Okay. It's still solid. So I many gotcha. words in a movie. But, and the, the, the thing that, that caught me by surprise, have you all seen that one yet by any chance? This, Rise, I haven't seen the, the sequel. Second one? I saw the no, first one. The thing that caught me by surprise that I wasn't expecting is all the apes communicate like via sign language, so a lot of the movie is subtitled. Oh. It's like the apes are communicating and like making grunting noises, but it's like all, I mean, it's an ape scene. It's pretty much all subtitled. We should have amazing. a podcast that's only like that. <laughs> <You're> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it was good, and uh, Gary, this, I don't know, Gary Oldman's not in the movie very much. I feel like he's in the trailer. It's weird. A lot. He's the biggest part of the trailer, yeah. Right, but it's like every scene he's in in the movie is pretty much in the trailer. Oh, oh that's so weird. Who's in the movie? It's like yeah, and that's the thing. It's like I was like, oh, Gary Oldman's not the star. He's like, like uh, also featuring you yeah. know, Gary Oldman, and it's like I don't, I don't even know who any of the primary cast were. Did you ever see Executive Decision? Yes, that's the Kurt Russell movie. Yeah, well, Steven Seagal's like on the cover, and he's in all the trailers. And then in like the first fifteen minutes, he there like the plane breaks up, and he it he just falls through yeah. the sky, and like you just you don't believe it. You're like, well, how's he gonna come back from that? Yeah. Like, is is he gonna land on another plane, and he's gonna come <laughs> back in the movie? But he's like, no, he's just gone. Yeah, that's awesome. It's, yeah, <laughs> Gary Oldman does not like die or anything in the first 15 minutes. He just doesn't have a lot of screen yeah, time. Yeah. It's, it's just Good the thing. way they edit it. What about Steven Seagal? Was he in it much? He, Steven Seagal was not in that movie. My, oh, man, I used to watch Dark Territory 2 oh, every time it was on. Oh, Yeah, on the plane? Yeah, well, no. D- un- d- that Sorry, was on the, the train, train. In the train, yeah. yeah. He's got a fight sequence at the end where they obviously are like ramping the speed on the film and slowing it down to make <laughs> him look fast yeah. and make the bad guy look slow. Oh, my favorite part <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> He he gets kicked off the train, of course, and he he's trying to catch up to it. And he just finds his truck on the side of the road, opens the hood, finds two wires, and then hits the wires together, and the truck starts. Yeah, and then takes off. So cool. Um, but I I realized in like, going through these movies, there were there there weren't too many new movies that I hadn't seen that I was really wanting to see. So I ended up rewatching a lot of stuff. Like I rewatched um, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. It's a fucking mm-hmm. great movie. I, I didn't watch that in the theater. I regret not watching it in the theater. Is that the one that they renamed? Yeah, they renamed it Live, Die, Repeat. Okay. Yeah, that's that a way that better name. That movie's fucking good. Yeah. Tom mm-hmm. Cruise and Emily Blunt. I haven't seen it. It's on my list of see when I'm alone. Yeah, you should absolutely watch it. Uh, like, and and the, the problem is, so I, the first time I saw it, they have like a 10-minute preview on the Xbox. You can watch like the first 10 minutes of the movie. Oh, cool. And uh, so I watched it with Esther, and she's like, that movie looks, that movie looks boring as shit. I was like, well, let's watch it anyway. Let's watch it. I really yeah. wanted to see it. So we watched it, and then like halfway through the movie, she's like, this is the best movie that's ever been made. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Holy shit. It's like, why did they give you the 10 minutes for free? That's not representative yeah. of the movie at all. Is it always the first 10 minutes? Yeah, it's always the first 10 okay. minutes you get to see. Was Your Highness the movie oh, with God. James Franco? Yeah. Well, I saw that on a plane, but it was at the tail end of the plane. So I only saw tail end of the flight. Um, so I only saw like the first 20 minutes and it was really, really funny. Yeah. And then I got home and I bought it and you know paid $5 and then it was like, Really shitty after that. I Ty, felt Ty like they Lannister's s- in that movie, right? He is. He's the father. Oh, he's in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. isn't he in Babe? I think he is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is he the farmer? Yes. <laughs> no, no, he's the pig, Chris. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, I just had this like. He's <laughs> really good makeup <laughs> and prosthetics. <laughs> well, he seems so kind in that. And oh, like, is he the farmer? <laughs> it's like the opposite of Tywin Lannister. It's an actor. Yeah, yeah, and it's just it's it's good. I gotta go see. Baby you should again. learn how to act. <laughs> um, so what I say? I said 
Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, How then I rewatched uh, Days of Future Past as well. How does and it work on flights like that? Like, do you have to pay for every movie, no. or is there some sort of deal? It's just like on demand. You just watch like okay. every movie you want. You got like your own screen, and you just like go through. I them. figured they would be a little more lenient on a fifteen-hour yeah. flight. Um, and the, the interesting thing about Days of Future Past is, so it's like you normally like you start a movie, and it's like this film has been modified to fit your screen, or whatever. They give the disclaimers, um, and I watched it. And uh, it gave us that typical boilerplate. And then it said something like, also be aware this, uh, I forget the exact wording, this film contains scenes of a traumatic flight sequence. Please oh. be aware of those around you. <laughs> There's that scene where like Magneto is like controlling the plane and yeah. making yeah. it dive. And I was like, oh yeah. I, I can't believe they put that in there. Yeah, it's no, no, I mean, that's good because otherwise people will be like, you no, know. They, I can't believe they put that movie in there with that scene. It's a very, it's only like a, a minute long scene. Yeah. I guess that, they shouldn't put the movie Flight <coughs> on a flight. Or Final Destination. Yeah, no. those two or should definitely be plane. avoided. Even, so, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, World War Z has a pretty traumatic yeah. flight yeah. scene. What about, what's the president? Um, the first Air Force One? Air Force One. <laughs> he saves the plane then. It doesn't go down though, right? I bet they don't show that on Air Force One. <laughs> it's that'd actually be funny right that'd, yeah. that'd be cool I'd be, if I'm ever president first movie I'm watching when I'm president I'm like on the plane let's put on Air Force One yeah. <laughs> they're like sir we don't have it ah oh, damn it say uh, get off my plane are you gonna listen to Bear Force One <laughs> oh, I, that, uh-huh. this is like I just wanna be president That's now good yeah. you got time um, so then like I, I, I'd i seen like all the movies I wanted to see I'd seen I'd rewatched a bunch of movies already and like the flight is still really long cause you fly 15 hours there you fly 15 hours back so then like I started like browsing through TV and it's like the Big Bang Theory and like really popular stuff, but nothing that I'm really into. So then I started watching movie trailers. <laughs> oh man. It was like, you know, I, I was like just desperate for any kind of content to keep movies? me They're uh, like occupied. little movies. I love yeah. watching movie trailers. Films. I was like, they're like three minute long movies. Yeah. And it'll make me hopefully get excited about something I can watch later. I love when you watch movie trailers on YouTube and you know how they have the ad before a video that you watch yeah. on YouTube when it's like another trailer for another movie. Oh, yeah. It's just like, great. I watched a trailer before I was watching this trailer. Was Apple trailers, did that precede YouTube? I remember yes. that's how I watched everything. And it's cool because there's like so many that there's stuff you're going to never see on TV. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, we I still, I still watch them there all the time. And in fact, uh, I think Bertie and I have talked about this on the podcast several times before, but when episode one first had its trailer, if you wanted to watch the largest version possible on the internet, you had to have QuickTime Pro oh. and watch it through the Apple trailers website. So it was like their their upsell uh, attempt. Smart. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so I watched a bunch of trailers and I, I, I was not, I know it's dumb because they have ads everywhere. I was not aware of the Exodus movie, Exodus Gods and Kings, until I watched the trailer on that flight. Oh, that's the Moses movie. Yeah, it looks fucking or crazy. It's Christian yeah. Bale as Moses. Um, and I guess it's a Ridley Scott movie. And it's like super Ridley Scott, like super epic scale of crazy i am yeah. so excited to see that because you guys have seen the ten commandments mm-hmm. have you seen yeah. that movie? yeah, yeah, yeah. charlton heston i used to watch yeah. that every single yeah. year it was really really good and like i'm excited to see how that's gonna be done in this day and age like modern yeah like technology. with effects and everything like that yeah like they don't re- they show like small in the trailer they show small snippets of like the parting of the red sea but yeah. you don't get to see the whole thing which i think is smart it's like yeah. It's like you don't want to spoil like the big money shot. Like go exactly. see that like uh, as as huge as you can. All right, one commandment at, or I mean not commandment. <laughs> uh, one plague I never got was frogs. I like frogs. What, what's the problem? No, with but frogs? there's like a ton of frogs. Yeah. No, oh, imagine man. just frogs. like covered in no, frogs. No, frogs are cool. No, like, Chris, I'm just saying like <laughs> you can't even drive. There's so many frogs. Like you're slipping. I would feel bad about driving over frogs. You know, you like or frogs. stepping on frogs. I like when my firstborn son is killed. Personally. <laughs> 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 that's the last. That's the last plague. <laughs> but you saying you like that? <laughs> he likes. For, I was trying. That's to make why a you joke. ignore the for, firstborn, <laughs> just in case. You sp- focus all on the, the the other kids. Yeah, I think like with the Charlton Heston movie being so popular, that really up the like they knew they had to do this one right. Yeah. When I was watching it, I was like, this is a really really cool version of Deep Impact because oh. it's like. You get to see these really catastrophic events in CGI, but they're they're more dynamic. The context is a lot cooler, and they're just scarier. Like even the fr- the, the frogs, not the frogs look <laughs> fucking crazy. They, there was so much detail. They take hours to render these frogs. <laughs> oh, I like I, mean, I like frogs. Did you ever see the Prince of Egypt, the animated no, version no. of it? No, no, it's great. Yeah, I saw that. That was God. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it must be. It's like late nineties. Fifteen years ago. Maybe? Yeah, I think it was like 98, 99. I know for first time cuz we watched that trailer uh in at, in the office and uh I got really confused because I thought it was uh uh Noah. 
Oh <laughs> yeah. God. And I was like, <laughs> I was like wondering when his when his boat's You're gonna. Getting come. your biblical stories mixed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, I, I read up on it and I read that uh, Aronofsky wanted Christian Bale to be Noah in the Noah movie, but there was a scheduling conflict, so he had to get Russell Crowe instead. So he had like two actors that he wanted to cast in these stories, and he's just like, was like "All right, Christian, well, Christian Bale yeah, can't do this one, so he'll do that one." I guess I don't know. It's like <laughs> it's, it's weird how that works. Yeah, it's funny. Doesn't Bale? He he just tries to stay in character all the time, which would be s- terrifying for a lot of movies. But for Moses, that'd be pretty cool, right? Like, do you think, you think he's he getting just, the like, door for people? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, is that what Jewish know? people do? Well, no, like, you know, it's the parting the Red Sea. What does that like, do hey, getting the door? It's like, getting like, the door. It's the same thing. You know, open. I split an ocean, get the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh people can't walk yeah. through the ocean. You think the he, like, went to forest hey, like, wait, wait, on fire? The, the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that wall for you. <laughs> Walked around with a staff every I day. I think he'd be really considerate. <laughs> Probably. Do you think he went to, like, synagogue every day just to, like, get in the, get in the mindset? I don't know. What do you do in synagogue? You, like, sing songs and pray and stuff. I don't remember. It's been uh, like 15 years since I've been in synagogue or something like that. Mm. It's just like church, like for same maybe day. not 15. I had a bat mitzvah when I was 12. I just so. imagine there's like 13 years people fighting like dreidels, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like tops. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> at each other. It's like dog fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, here, I'm <laughs> no, gonna, no, no, no. It's not Jesus. <laughs> guess it's synagogue. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, let me read this thing here. Uh, I want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast is brought to you by NatureBox, two words, people, free snacks. Uh, I'm going to give you the chance to get free snacks, drop the candy bar, drop the potato chips, uh, do what I do, get delicious, wholesome snacks at naturebox.com. NatureBox gives me hundreds of snacks, delicious snacks, and you don't, I don't feel guilty about eating them because they're better for me. I've got zero artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, zero grams trans fat, and no high fructose corn syrup. You'll even find snacks with no... I forgot the nature box in my office. <laughs> You'll even find snacks with no added sugar and without gluten ingredients. So in the afternoon slump when I'm hungry and irritable, here's what I do. I grab peanut butter nom noms from nature box or baked sweet potato fries or dark cocoa almonds. I see people running in my office. Um, so good and so much better for you than other snack options out there. And I want to give you the chance to try nature box for free with a trial box featuring five of their most popular snacks. Free snacks. To start your free trial, go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Stay full, stay strong. Do what I do. Start snacking smarter. Go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Get a free trial box of delicious snacks. You're welcome. I think, I think there's actually two boxes of Nature Box in my office because I've been gone for a while. I was going to say, I think the best part of you being out of town for so long is that I ate all your Nature Box. Did you? Yeah. I, I figured that would we, we like steal them from Patrick and we just have them in our office. I used to have to hide them at the old studio. Really? <laughs> from Bernie? Yeah. Dude, we had to hide a lot of stuff from people in the old studio. Yeah. That was, that was a common thread. Mm-hmm. And like, they still like do. For, oh, there they are. Patrick got them. Thanks, Patrick. Like, for example, we got to hide the fucking makeup wipes again. Because I are came they? back last week and they fucking disappeared. I, I always buy this giant tub of makeup wipes so that when we're done shooting, we can just wipe our faces down. And they just disappear. I speculate that, and I've said this before, I think someone's taking them thinking they're butt wipes yeah. and is wiping their ass with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I mean, just going to put on record, it's not me. <laughs> they were in the bathroom. Right. So that kind of made sense. And I think that person is still doing it. God, I would imagine it would burn. Who I would you, imagine who do you it would think it is. Huh? Who do you think it is? I don't know. You have to have your speculation. I mean, you, I think Meg even sent an email to everyone asking who had it. No one's I think, gonna, I think no one's gonna gotta, admit to it now. Yeah. Yeah, because then everyone's gonna think that we think that they use. Well, it to they wipe can come their clean butts. and be uh, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and be like, uh, and the lady said, "I didn't. I know it's not for my butt. We'll I was using it for blank." Blank. See. So if you like uh, the movie talk, we're doing screenplay tomorrow. Die oh. Hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Die Hard. Uh, Chris and I, uh, we have something cooked up we're excited about. What is it? We can't well, we, say. There was a drawing to see what m- would the movie of the week would be. And there were uh, <laughs> me, Brandon, and Blaine. Did you guys all put this We all put in. Die Hard in. And, and JJ <laughs> yeah. was so pissed off. He was like, what? Yeah, what? he had no idea. He pulled out. He was like, oh, Die Hard. Let's see what everyone else had. Is that like, too Die mainstream hard. for him? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he legitimately got <laughs> mad. So we're going to see what we can do tomorrow. Boo-hoo. Yeah. So you have That's something planned for screenplay? Yes, we have something sc- During the live stream tomorrow for sponsors. 4, 4 p.m. Central. Central. Yep. Yep. And then available for the public the next day. Mm-hmm. I love Die Hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Die Hard's a good movie. If you, if you want to watch and you haven't seen Die Hard and you're on the fence, it's like a legitimately good Christmas movie. Like if you Google top Christmas movies, it's always on a list. Do you want to hate me a lot? I haven't seen any of the Die Hard movies. Well, I would just see the first one. I don't hate you. I want to help you. I want to show you Die Hard. Uh, Did you, have you should to watch the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really on good. Netflix. It's, I think it is. Sweet. Yeah. Or it's on Amazon 
or something at least. You can I, actually, I used Redbox for the first time uh, during Thanksgiving. I didn't realize that you have to return it like right away or else they charge you per day that you have it. I thought it was just like a rental fee. I ended up paying 36 bucks for, a <laughs> for, for three movies. <laughs> well, why did you keep it for three? Well, we've all had like days. Netflix movies that we've kept for like over a year. Yeah. Right. I think I had Mysterious Skin for 14 months. I had Bridge Over the River Kwai for like 13. <laughs> yeah, I probably could keep that. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you think... Uh, what, what were your three movies? Uh, it was the Lego movie, uh, X-Men, Days of Future Past, mm -hmm. and um, Chef. Mm. Which Oh, Chef's so good. I uh, I was in the middle. Yeah, I, really? I, was, I was not blown away. It was like a cute huh. movie. It was like enjoyable, but I definitely would not want to see that in theaters. Oh, Just we like enjoyed it. <laughs> My girlfriend's also a chef. Mm. Is she the chef? She's the chef. Nice. Um, yeah, so... God, I, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, rewinding again. Talking about uh, screenplay? No, we're, we're done with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, Dang it. So I went to Australia. I uh, went to Adelaide, uh, which is a sister city to Austin. And Adelaide's like uh, a sleepy like surfer town. It's, uh, it's on the coast and yeah. it's beachfront. It's beautiful. Um, but apparently, I, di I didn't know this. I didn't fact check. So please, if you're from Adelaide or you know about Adelaide, please let me know on Twitter, hashtag RT podcast, whether or not I'm talking out my ass here. But I heard from multiple people that Adelaide has this weird, like it's beautiful. Let me, I can't stress that enough. No, I, I, I went. Beautiful picture. Oh, you were there? Yeah. You went there? Beautiful, picturesque. They've got like, did you go to the farmer's market, central market? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's huge. It's really cool. It's amazing. Like all, all, the, all the, the, the fruits and vegetables and everything's like so fresh. But apparently it has this weird distinction where I think, I forget if it's like the highest number of murderers per capita oh my God. of any city in the world. What? Yeah, where it's like there are more, I don't know if it's you more like think serial so, killers. Though. That doesn't look like murder. at all like a murder town. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like it looks like, oh, I would go here and, you know, retire or like hang out and it's just like really pretty and nice. I was like, wow. Murderers? <laughs> you yeah. sure it's not the sister city to Baltimore? <laughs> <laughs> you would, yeah, you would think. I don't know. But I heard I guess Saskatoon was I guess like the highest it's, for that. It's it's a small town, and they've had a lot of weird like serial killers and murderers. Uh -huh. So like, there's like this weird undertone and of they're, uh, they're danger. Like, all the other murderers are like, we should go there. Apparently, that's like <laughs> the place to be. <laughs> yeah. 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 Beautiful. They've got vegetables and fruit. And <laughs> <laughs> just going on. We can yeah. make a killing. <laughs> <laughs> um, they killed that guy. They did. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we, we went to Adelaide. Uh, so it was actually the second time I'd been there. I'd been there for the Adelaide Film Festival previously. Uh, when I went for the Adelaide Film Festival like six or seven years ago, we did a panel for uh, Rooster Teeth for Red vs. Blue. Uh, at one point, I was walking through like one of their open-aired malls, like arcades that they have there, and there was like a band playing live music out in the middle of like the courtyard, and they were fucking playing uh, I Come From a Land Down Under <laughs> by oh. Men of War. <laughs> and I was like, like, is this, isn't this like a stereotype? Isn't yeah. everyone in this country fucking sick of this Don't song? Don't you hate that song when other people bring it up? I would think so. Yeah. Well, no? people in America like when, like, they play that song, America, fuck yeah. yeah but that's an parody. ironic song. <laughs> yeah, but I guess. Well, I guess people like Born in the USA, right? Yeah. Yeah, People like true. songs about the US in the well, US. Well, that song's like, that's like a political song. It be, yeah, yeah. After you or listen to the, the first USA? part of it. Yeah. Everybody loves party in the USA. Dude, that, that song, song. that music video, that is the biggest American flag I've seen in my life. Like, who makes American flags that big? There's an uh, uh, American flag place in San Antonio, I think. They make, like, I mean, this was, like, the size of a building. Maybe yeah. a custom-made American flag. And what do you do with it after you're done with the music You video? salute the hell out of that flag. <laughs> 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 salute so hard your hand falls off. Yep. Or you whatever get the you biggest do. hand you can find <laughs> and give the biggest salute <laughs> possible. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm Canadian. I, saw, I, I shook hands with someone who had giant hands recently, and I was really intimidated. How big are we talking? I'm big. Like, <laughs> I mean, big enough to the point where I was like... Felt like I shouldn't shake hands with him because he could like. Is, is it, it like that old Foo Fighters video where they're in the dream and they've got the big hands? I don't know, but it was like one of those things where I shook hands with him. I'm like, oh, and he was a normal looking dude. He wasn't like a really big guy. He just had huge hands. You know what that means, right? <coughs> what? B big uh, wiener. That's where big gloves. <laughs> is it though? I don't know. Yeah. Well. It's it's it sometimes. I mean, I guess it's not all the time a correlation, but. Oh, I think someone debunked my Adelaide comment. Where was it? But Chris. then Twitter crashed. So according to Paul Zero F Duty on Twitter, he no, says Adelaide isn't the murder capital. It's a myth that was in a documentary that started that rumor. Oh. Well, so. I'm a little disappointed, actually. 
yeah. I don't, I, so I don't know. I, he's Mark the only person it. who's commented on it. So we'll see if. Uh, uh, Not as uh, disappointed yeah. as all the serial killers that were listening to this podcast. <laughs> Booking their flights. <laughs> Booking Getting their ready flights. to go. Finally, a place for me. Non refundable. Um, then, after the Adelaide event, uh, we went out to Wellington, New Zealand, did like a fan meetup. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, so we thought that it was going to be sunny on the day we we're going to do the meetup, and there's like this botanical gardens. Uh, there, so I was like, "Oh, let's just do the meetup at the botanical gardens." But of course, it's fucking. It, it was. It was in the morning. It was like, "Okay, it might be fine." It fucking started raining like all afternoon. Oh, that's uh. awesome. So uh, we took like this. Uh, we took public transportation up to the to the botanical gardens. We're like, "All right, we're going to meet at the our backup plan is to meet at the the cafe in the botanical gardens. Let's you know walk there. Where is it? We looked at a map. It's on the other side of the botanical garden. Oh, <laughs> so like sucks. through the rain, we have to walk like a fucking mile on these winding paths to get there. Uh, we finally start like approaching the cafe. And as we're getting close, I see like everyone in the cafe like turn their heads and look at me and Jordan. I was like, oh, sweet. You know, there's, there's a lot of people. And I was expecting like 20 or 30. We walk into like the little restaurant area and then there's people like wearing Rooster Teeth shirts. There's two kinds of people in this restaurant. There's Rooster Teeth fans who are wearing like Rooster Teeth shirts and they're dressed up like X-Ray and Vav and stuff. And then there's fucking senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> who are also Rooster Teeth fans. No, 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 no. <laughs> so it was very easy, very clear who was there for the meetup and who wasn't. It's so like, okay, sweet. Like, I'm going to buy a beer and I'm going to walk around and talk to everyone. So like Jordan and I buy like these half liter beers and we're like walking around like table to table talking to everyone. And as I'm getting close to the end of the room, uh, I'm like, oh, we're making good time. You know, we're, we're going to get to talk to everyone. Uh, the, like one of the guys working there is like, hey, listen, um, y'all are kind of blocking like the, the entrance and exit. He goes, you know, it, it's fine or whatever, but do you mind just like moving to uh, the greenhouse. I was like, what's the greenhouse? It's like, oh, it's the building that's attached to this one. Just go right through that door. And I go through the door and it's like another 200 people <laughs> in that, oh or, in that area. I was like, oh shit, there are a lot of guys <laughs> here. Oh, there, there's the group. Oh see, the greenhouse. see, on the far left, that little circular building is the restaurant. Then that long building oh is the greenhouse. God. And it was just filled with people. I was like, oh shit. That's so cool that that many people came out though. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it, it was bad weather. People had flown in from other cities in New Zealand. Dude, that's Whoa. so cool. Yeah, and... Um, we should go there more often. <laughs> yeah, it was it was awesome. And uh, at one point, so I, I tweeted a picture of it, but someone gave Jordan and I like these little containers of chocolate milk, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" And then like as he, as he I, like I didn't know what it was, and as he handed it to us, I could hear like a murmur spreading through the crowd, like <laughs> they got the milk. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> they got the milk. Look. It's the milk. <laughs> it's the milk. And like everyone's like, the milk, the milk. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go put this away. <laughs> it's like that scene in Toy Story with all like the aliens. Yeah. And they just yeah. look up and see the claw. That's what I just. Uh, but it. apparently oh. it's like this, 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 this chocolate milk made by uh, uh, a chocolate company in New Zealand called Whitaker's. And it's like super desirable. Like they don't make very much of it. And I guess stores have to hire extra security guards when they get the milk. Really? Because like people wait, like people go crazy trying to get the milk. That's the crazy. Milk. It wow, was, was it? It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good, but it was just a d freaky, like how everyone was just like so. No. Did people yeah, look at you when you were drinking it too? I, I, I went back to the hotel. I didn't drink it there. Okay, I, was not afraid, in public. <laughs> I was afraid I would get mobbed or someone. There, there's the milk. <laughs> the milk. I, I was afraid I would get like, knocked <laughs> out or something. That is a weird kind of gift. Well, out of context yeah like, yeah and then but, once i realized like oh shit like this guy went through a lot of trouble to get two bottles of this and uh and give it to us it was really and then good. after new zealand you went back to australia right yeah i want to talk about new zealand a little more though oh. um there was all, at the meetup there was also this guy I, I keep meaning to tweet a picture of him but i keep forgetting he had a cell phone that looked like it could only call 1992 <laughs> It, it, have, like, the it was like one of those out. bricks with the long <laughs> antenna. And I was like, I was like, what are you doing, dude? Are you carrying a cordless phone? He goes, no, it's my cell phone. Oh, my, like, God. Yeah, really. oh <laughs> my God. No way. Phone. He's like, yeah. I was like, hold it up to your face. And I took a picture of him with it. <laughs> Do you have the picture? Uh, I'll see if I can it's find it. It's Patrick. I want to see um, it. It was like, there's no way that that's actually a phone that works. And I made him make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you are absolutely lying to me. How does that even still work? I don't know. Like he I seemed kind of proud of it, oddly. I feel like the people who have those really old phones are proud of it. Like, yeah, I don't need a smartphone or anything. I just uh, I just need this. And it's like, well, good for you. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it becomes something to brag about. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like people are, are very smarmy about it. But this guy was not smarmy. <laughs> he, 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 I think he was just happy that he had a phone that worked. And there's like, he probably was like, I don't need any of that other shit. Yeah. I just have a phone that I know works. I'm trying to get it to... Yeah, there's two types of people. People who are like actually... Ju that's all they need and they know it and there's people who are like for some reason oddly proud of the they're fact. like technology hipsters yeah i like to think that guy's like this phone's analog 
<laughs> <laughs> I like to think that guy's dad was like 70 years old and had an iPhone. Do you think do you think that <laughs> like there's ever going to be a return to rotary phones for like oh that would hipstery? be cool. No, oh, wouldn't. that's his real that's really phone. Lame. I, I've got <laughs> 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 So you see there's the restaurant behind That's him. awesome. Yep, that was that was the phone. <laughs> the satellite phones look like, right? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Where do you put that? Like, you put that in your pocket somewhere? He had a bag for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a canvas tote bag. The guy that sets up all our lights. My phone bag. The guy that sets up all our lights. Like, he's very professional, very, you know, very sharp. And he still has, like, a, one of those old cell phones that hooks up to his belt. And it's like, as yeah. soon as, like, he gets a call, it's like... Whoosh, whoosh. So cool. It's like, no style points. Nobody uses those, like... Um, Belts? Belt yeah. things for their phone anymore. I, I still to. see them being he sold does. in stores. Someone has to be fucking buying it's, these, right? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's mo- It's like people who are 50 and above. Businessmen? Yeah. Or women? I don't know. My, my dad has one. It's a good... That's yeah. a good yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like older dudes who are wearing sandals and socks. <laughs> like those are the guys who got the belt clip. Like, <laughs> like they... <laughs> they they know what they want in life, and then, you know everyone else be damn. I imagine the, the people who still use pagers probably have people to use pagers. pagers, don't they? No way. There has to be people drug who still dealers. Use pa- yeah, no drug dealers use yeah. pagers. Yeah. Do you hang out with a lot of drug dealers? Not often. Can't say I do. It was like one unless of my you fir- have something to tell me. One of my first jobs I had was a, a beeper repairman. Really? <laughs> what? Wow! Did you repair beepers? I had, I had <laughs> no idea how beepers worked, but I was like. Oh, cool. Yeah, you need a beeper repairman? I can do that. And all I did was just, like, take them apart and spro- com- spray compressed air on them and then put them back together. And nine times out of ten, that worked. Really? Yeah. It was like, you just needed a tiny screwdriver. That's it. I had a tiny screwdriver. I is could that how beepers. you got your job as head of tech? <laughs> <laughs> I guess as it started. And then, like, so then the other problem was sometimes they would stop vibrating. And all it is is, like, a little weight that spins around. So you just, like, take that weight off and put another one on. Really? Yeah. And it so, so, so did you go in just BSing your way? You're just like, I can do that. Yeah, I was like, I can do that. Yeah, sure, whatever. Did you ever, whenever you applied for another job in the future, did you secretly hope that the guy interviewing you had a broken beeper? <laughs> you like, <laughs> I'm Let me now. show you something. <laughs> yeah, I can't fix those anymore. Um, yeah, someone said, I mean dads oh, in their target demographic. Obama's on the screen. I was like, why is Obama? And he's got, oh. wow. Yeah. He's, he's got the, the clip. What kind of phone it. do you think Obama has? He had a Blackberry um, during... The his initial election. I, I yeah, I like to think that the president has his own phone, like own the Obama well, like phone, a special phone. phone. Like I, it's POTUS phone of the U.S. Well, it's okay. Just as an example, Batman he had a red phone that would ring when things went down, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you think Obama? Well, the has commissioner a had a yeah, red exactly. phone. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Red phone and I imagine like the president has some sort of equivalent thing, but in modern days. Do you think it has that? Snapchat? It might if he installed. It, but what I was saying <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just saying is Does like, he have his own app store? It, it would be what, what else is installed in Obama's phone? <laughs> I guess some Tinder. sort of communication thing with <laughs> the CIA like and, and, and oh you know what would be sweet is like some sort of like uh, s- special like senator texting app or something where it's like I don't know <laughs> Uh, I guess it's not a big market for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sell you, up to a hundred copies of this application, <laughs> and every six years we might sell another. I think I think Obama still has Angry Birds on his phone. Yeah, yeah. Flappy one, Bird, one of the only. You think he could still get Flappy Bird? A Flappy Bird, Bird, yeah, not Angry Birds. Mm. Flappy I still Bird. have Flappy Bird. I do too. I yeah. downloaded. It. I only downloaded because I knew it was going away. Yeah, I yeah. know. Same here. It's like, and I want to delete it. I would have deleted it by now, but I'm like. But I could never get it back, so mm-hmm. I have to keep were it. people selling their phones for like thousands of dollars that had floppy yeah, on it? Yeah, I think it was more. I don't know if people actually sold no. that many. I think it was just people were aver- like had them up for sale for that much. I don't know if they actually sold for. I that really much. hope not. Anybody yeah. who bought a phone for that is stupid. a fucking idiot. Um, so what was I? I was talking about New Zealand. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The fan event was great. We definitely should go back. I think it had been like. Six years, maybe, or something since the, we've done it. How long have you been there? there? Not counting a simple walk. Yeah. Uh, I was only there like two or three days. That's such a cool story, though, is like how you kind of met up with them, like the first initial encounter. When we were in Vegas, we had a, um, a meetup with the RT Vegas crew, and we had somebody recording. We were in this bar waiting for everybody because we're like, oh, it's going to be really cool. Everyone's really happy. And then we're just like waiting and waiting and waiting. And then finally, like, people like tapped me on the back and they had come through the back way. And it was like, whoa, well. <laughs> This is anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we were. No, I guess we. Yeah, we were walking. It was, day, it was yeah. raining, and we were walking like down this steep hill to the restaurant. I thought we were gonna slip and fall and like break that would an be ankle. Amazing if yeah. everyone saw you do that. Right, and then like tumble, like be like fall in the mud in a puddle. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> you could just say that that was for all the Tumblr fans. Oh gee, get out. Um, then from Wellington, we flew back to Australia. Went to Brisbane, and. Apparently, so like we were getting ready to take off in Wellington and we were checking the weather in Brisbane. It's like, oh, it's going to be raining this afternoon when we land. Like, oh, that, mm, that sucks. I hope, uh, I hope the rain passes. Apparently, it was the worst storm that's hit Brisbane in like 30 years. Um, there was baseball-sized hail. Whoa. Uh, f- crazy flooding. Uh, we had to divert and circle for an hour before we could land. That's and scary. When we did our first turn away from the airport, uh, the plane got struck by lightning. What? Right, what? Right outside of my seat. Doesn't... Wait, really? Yeah. What like, happens? Like, I was looking out the window. I was like, boy, the weather sure looks bad. And then I saw it and felt it. Like, I could feel the heat. Oh, wow. Like, I, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, my God, I'm really hot. Oh, now I'm not. And then it was just, like, shattering, like, shaking. Like, this, it was so loud. Was there any party that and wanted to... people s- started screaming on the really? plane. That's the worst. When people start screaming on a plane, yeah. you're like, that's not going to help anything. Yeah. yeah. Was there any party that wanted to see if you could, like, move stuff with your mind? <laughs> like, that's your origin story as a new superhero. <laughs> plane man. Lightning plane man. Everyone on that plane. He can superhero. control lightning from a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me get in my plane. <laughs> Didn't John say that, like, like Esther slept through it or someone slept through it? Holly slept through it? I don't know. I don't remember. It wasn't me or it wasn't Esther. <laughs> we were looking, like, right outside the window. That's scary. That fucking lightning so did, did they, I guess the planes are just prepared for that. Yeah, huh? it's, just, it's no big deal. They're just like, eh. Yeah, just shrug like, it off. Yeah, that's, just, that's what the plane did. It just shrugged. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was the fucking turbulence was bad because it was, oh, it was a huge storm. I would have been freaking out. I wouldn't scream, but I'd really be shaking and. And they puke? Huh? And they puke? Um, not that I saw. People screamed. Actually, people. That was the second time people had screamed on that flight. People screamed on the takeoff in Wellington because Wellington is a really windy city. So it was it was a rough takeoff. Uh, I don't really get scared of. I remember there was a flight where people were screaming and stuff, and I was just annoyed because they were waking me up. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Stop yelling, so I can go back to sleep." Someone on Twitter who is this? The NXT Supreme is asking if I was thunderstruck. Oh, <laughs> very good. Nice. Um, yeah, so we landed, and it looked like oh, Esther didn't say this t- for until a couple of days later, but we landed, and she was like, "You know what? We landed in a natural disaster." Like, the fucking downtown was just, like, broken glass and tree limbs everywhere from the hail. Fuck. And I guess the trains had to stop running because of the flooding. So everyone who worked downtown and commuted was stuck downtown. So you saw just, like, hundreds of people walking down the street together trying to find a taxi. That's crazy. Yeah, and then we went to, like, this restaurant, and I guess their employees couldn't get there to work the shift. So they only had, like, one waitress. And it was like the restaurant was packed as a result because nobody could leave downtown. Yeah. Oh, or shit. get in. And it was like, oh my God. It's it was the worst possible situation to be in. It was crazy. Can I say something? Yeah. If you knew, like you were guaranteed you would be safe and totally fine, would you want to go through a plane crash? Like if I could walk away from about, it? Yeah. You knew you weren't going to die, but like, you know, plane like, no. and it like lands on the water and it like. You get a ride, that little, that sweet slide that they always tease you with. I, I want to say yes, but I feel like it would still, I'd probably throw up. Like, even if I'm fine. Yeah. No. But it's like a roller. You wouldn't it's know like you a, were going to be fine. No, no, no. I, whatever. Type of that. So, it's like a roller coaster. I think it would You know, it's scary, you. but, yeah, you know, because you, be okay. you know what the thing is? Maybe Gus lives. Everyone around him might be dead. Yeah. And it's to be like, oh, here's someone's also, arm. Here's also, a roller coaster is only from, like, a hundred feet in the air, maybe a plane falls for like five minutes out of like six or seven miles in the air. Yeah, well, that's you know to us that's a big time because we have roller coasters. But I mean, but when the first roller coaster was made, people were like, "Oh man, that's really high if in the air." If you go a plane crash, you're probably like never able to fly again. Yeah, I imagine you're just fucked up for life. So, yeah, like no, I would not. Out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, I would never want to go on a plane again if I went through a crash. Or like, I mean, and even if you had survived through it, like any time you would hit turbulence or have like a little drop from then on, you'd be like, "Oh, this is it. It's happening again." Part <laughs> two. They didn't get me the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the final destination. <laughs> um, you know, I was thinking the other day. God, I love those movies. Speaking of final destination, the best. I, I realized that when you load 
like let, let's say you go to ikea and you buy a bunch of shit in those boxes and then you like try to arrange everything in your car to get it home that's like setting up an opening sequence for like final destination it's like <laughs> oh. all those boxes everywhere it's like man if i hit someone like that box is gonna fly and like knock my head off and it's like, like you're creating a death trap for yourself. God, my dad was the worst about that stuff. I remember driving, and then when I was a kid, having to put my hand on a box was, was oh at God. the top of our sedan. I imagine oh. just like whenever I'm on an elevator, something getting stuck in the doors, and then it like going up. Do you think about that every time we get on an elevator? Not every time, but because I saw the Final Destination movies and that happens, oh. like, it, I don't know, messes with my head. I kind of just trust things. <laughs> like, uh, well, no, like elevators and planes. I'm just gonna like. There's nothing I can do to. Yeah, I'm not gonna I mean, not take an elevator or a plane. Same thing with dentists. That's why I was like, how many? I don't care. Have a cavity. Do just go, do, take care of it. Do you always pay attention though when the elevator opens to make sure that the elevator's there, and it's not just an empty shaft? Well, I, I mean, you I would see right away. I'm no, if you're just, like not paying attention, or you're on your phone, or you're just like you know, you're just like, oh, I heard the elevator open. I'm gonna walk. No, I, yeah, because I look with my eyes. Well, there, was a, there was a story uh, a that couple, happens to people. Yeah, a couple of years ago, there was a a maid in a high rise. I think it was in New York, who had called the elevator and like she was backing up with her cart. The elevator doors open and she was backing up to get into the elevator with oh her cart, no. but the elevator wasn't there Fuck. and she just fell down the shaft. Did she die? Yeah. <laughs> Did the thing shit. land on her? I don't think so. I okay. think she probably let go when she fell. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what I don't a terrible know. I thought of something really. You said fell down the shaft and I thought of a penis shaft. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. <laughs> that, that would not that would not kill her. That would be a no. great way to die. <laughs> <laughs> I fell down the shaft. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> uh, here, I'm going to read this other thing. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Sherry's Berries. The shopping season brings on long lines at the mall. Um, standing in a separate line for every gift you need to buy takes time. You need a one-stop destination for all the people on your list. Sherry's Berries allows you to buy and send your gifts in one place. Uh, get freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99. That's over 40% savings or double the berries for just $10 more. Uh, just use promo code TEETH to take advantage of this. Uh, so just go to berries. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been five weeks. I'm out of practice. <laughs> go to berries.com. That's B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Uh, click on the microphone in the top right corner and type TEETH. That's T-E-E-T-H. I've said this before the last time Sherry's Berries was a sponsor. They specifically told me our listeners are the worst at properly redeeming the code. <laughs> when you go to the website, you have to click on the microphone in the top right and then use promo code TEETH. They say that our listeners find other that ways to get through them. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, if you're going to do it, you have to go the right way. Otherwise, you'll still get uh, money off, but you don't get the full amount off if you don't do it the right way. So click on the microphone in the top <laughs> right and use promo code TEETH. Um, do we here, have shares? We have berries, berries here. Yeah. Yes. I'll pass them out. I am so happy I'm on the podcast today. Yeah. Nature Box and Sherry's Berries. I brought some napkins, too. Yeah. Since they're... <gasps> Sherry's napkins. <laughs> you, he just dropped the lid. He's like... Sorry. Could he saw the, the berries and instantly just oh, didn't geez. give a fuck about the lid anymore. Can I have the bow? You want the bow? The, it's under the box. Are you okay, Brandon? I still know which one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like you're having a crisis. You're like You didn't even hear Barbara asking for the bow. Mm. Yeah, pass it down to Barbara. Um, yes. So... Uh, so, you know, the, the whole thing with, with Supernova is there's a bunch of, like, uh, yeah, he's, he's eating like an animal. Yeah, I've got some napkins for you guys. There's a bunch of um, celebrity guests that, uh, that they have there at the event. So, um, the guest when I was there was uh, Jack Gleason, who played uh, Joffrey in Game of Thrones. I saw a picture you tweeted. Yeah, I took a picture with him at a bar. Really nice guy. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's super, super, super nice and uh, like super Chris, approachable, super yeah, talkative. Oh, so I'm sorry. And um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it just goes to show we're distracted. It just goes to show like what a what a good actor he is. There's, in fact, I looked him up on YouTube, and there's a video I guess where he did an audition, and uh, they t they just told him deliver the line, "My God, it's sunny outside." Deliver it once as yourself, and then deliver it a second time as a villain. And it's just like a 35 second long clip of him like then giving the line as himself, like oh, like a chipper normal person, and then just like. Like turning evil and giving like the evil uh, delivery of that line. Can so you do it? No, I couldn't do it. You know, <laughs> he has like so many like little mannerisms that he does. Like with Joffrey, like he was always like adjusting his shoulders and like he would look, you know, position his head a certain way. It's like all these little little things that he does when he's acting, and he uses them all in that clip. It's that really really good. Yeah, he's one of the best villains in the show. Mm -hmm. I think well, he uh, he retired from acting. Really? Oh, did he? Yeah. Man, Why? I mean, he might have. I'm sure people were so so rude to him and mean. 
I've just because they didn't like his character. Sign, yeah, yell at him. and yeah. That's and, a sign of such a good actor. It's like people legitimately fucking hate him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and he's yeah, a kid. an incredible mm-hmm. actor. He's, he's a really good ki- child actor. Welcome mm-hmm. to Twitter. Welcome to the internet. Yeah. There you go. Um, so yeah, who else was there? Um, oops, I think my iPad crashed. Um, so I also talked a lot with um, Alan Tudyk, who was Wash on uh, Firefly. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I think he was in V as well. I think was he? I don't know. Uh, who else was there? Um, uh, Grant Imahara from MythBusters. Oh, cool! And I talked with him. I, I ran into Grant all the time. And does uh, he know Rooster Teeth? Yes, he was familiar with Rooster Teeth. I was gonna say like it seems like that would be yeah. something that they would be aware of. And James Kyson, I think was his name. He was Ando in Heroes. Oh. Wait, who? Ando, Heroes' friend. Oh yeah, I know who, him. Yeah. He didn't have superpowers. Yeah. He was uh he was there all the time. That, oh, dude, that dude is fucking buff. Really? Yeah. He uh, every morning he would go out for a run and like you would just see like he did not. I don't think that guy had an ounce of fat on his body. He was just like all muscle. It was crazy. The carrot top effect. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and he was he was not a carrot. It didn't look like he juiced or anything. Oh, it was okay. like he was just naturally. Carrot top is the most terrifying. Really Do you think carrot top juice? I think carrot top juice. I is think a lot. it's hard work. <laughs> And determination. <laughs> and lots and of lots drugs. And lots of steroids. <laughs> <laughs> and steroids. <laughs> How many times have you been to Australia for Supernova? Oh, God. I don't, oh, for Supernova was my first time for Supernova. Really? Yeah, but I've been to Australia like 10 times, I think. Oh. Um, who else? I'm trying to... Oh, and then I also talked a lot with... Uh, I forget her last name. Tori something from Stargate Atlantis. And uh, Neve McIntosh from uh, Doctor Who. She plays the green alien. Oh, she's great. Yeah. The Victorian. Yeah. yeah. She was awesome. She's awesome. You know what? They she have? really, really cool. They don't have like. I, I helped her subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, oh yeah. are you serious? Yeah, like, explaining what we do. She's like, "Oh, you have a YouTube channel?" Like, here, she was like, "Here, I just installed YouTube on my phone. Show me how to subscribe." She's like, "I've never subscribed to any YouTube channels. I'm going to subscribe to yours." <laughs> so I walked her through subscribing. She's gonna to our be so YouTube confused channel. by her feed. I'm surprised why she. They don't have their own spinoff series. I mm-hmm. wouldn't be surprised if they do in the years. They're really funny. There's no equivalent of taking steroids for your brain, right? You can't like in alpha brain. I was going to say, is Alvin Brand a sponsor <laughs> this week? <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you can't just be like, and get really smart. Because people will totally do that. There's yeah. no, there is nothing like that. You're I, pe- my, people might argue that cocaine is something like that. It doesn't make you smart. smart. It doesn't make you smart, 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 but it, like, puts your brain into, like, hyperactive mode. Hmm. Yeah, but I, I, don't, don't I don't know if it necessarily increases your intelligence. Like, steroids make you stronger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they also have bad effects, but, Jerry's you know. berries. <laughs> um... I eat too many berries. <laughs> they're so <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. How many do you have? Two. <laughs> but they're, they're very ch- they're, they're very rich. They're huge. Did yeah, you have the white massive. chocolate one? Because those are the best. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, 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 I, I, say, I say this every time that they're a sponsor. I normally am not a white chocolate fan, but the white chocolate strawberries are the best. The mix between that and the strawberry are definitely good. That's what I recommend if you get Sherry's berries. Is just get as many <coughs> white chocolate ones as you possibly can. If oh. we weren't be rolling, I would combine them together and eat them together. <laughs> you ever mix all your food together? No. Just make one giant Brandon like one time. He was like, you know what you need to do is just get a thing of Oreos, pour them in a bowl, and put milk in it. Oh, yeah. And, that's I, the and, best. and I did it for lunch once. It was the worst. For <laughs> lunch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a meal, guys. <laughs> you can't, no, it's a tough meal. Yeah, it's like half the well, container. I, I went to lunch with Chris last week. And uh, we went to a Greek place kind of <laughs> close to the office that I'd never been to before. And we're driving there. And I'm like, is this place any good? And Chris goes, yeah, they give you a lot of food. <laughs> and I go, wait, wait, wait. But is the place good? He goes, yeah, it's really cheap. And I go, wait, Chris. <laughs> your definition of good and my definition of good, I think might be different. <laughs> is the food good? He goes, well, it's cheap and they give you a lot. What else do you want? <laughs> the food was not that great. <laughs> yeah, but it was a feast. And I, I, I like, like that place. Four dollars. They, they, they give like that... Uh, that yogurt sauce stuff. Yeah. And they were like, oh, yeah, they're, they're just, like I'm going down the road. They were like, do you want any yogurt sauce? I go, just give me very little. The guy gets a giant spoonful and fucking. <laughs> he already had it scooped. He was like, food. I was like, when did you start hating your job? <laughs> you know? I like that place because you do get a lot for very little and it's okay. So it's like you're willing to sacrifice quality for quantity. It's okay. That's about as fair as I can be to it. So I, I agree with Chris. Also, I was jet lagged as fuck that day. I could barely eat. Yeah. I was really odd. It was like no, the day after I came die back. hard. They have a good thing for jet lag is you take your shoes off and you roll them on the carpet barefoot. You know, I forget who it was. <laughs> what? I think go watch Die Hard. I think it was okay. um, it was it was an interview with 
it was an interview with some director. I don't know who it was. I want to say it might have been J.J. Abrams who said that uh, he did that all the time because of Die Hard. He would always, you know, every time he traveled to try to get over jet lag, he would take, take, his feet, take his feet out of his shoes and like rub them on a shag carpet. He said that he'd been doing it for years, you know, decades probably. And that one day, you know, after doing it for maybe 15 years or so, he stopped and thought, this was just a plot device to get John McClane's shoes off. Oh, that's funny. It doesn't actually do anything for jet yeah. lag. It is simply a plot device <laughs> to get him out of his shoes for the, for the for later scenes in the movie. But it could have been a placebo thing. He could have believed it, and yeah. like he thought it was. Fin- I was about to say, like, where do you find shag carpet? Someone has shag carpets, we and I look down, right and I was like, oh. I kind of wanted to take my shoes off and be like, I don't have jet lag, but <laughs> it feels good. It feels good anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um. So where, where am I? So uh, you've all been Chris- to Australia. You've been. You've been. You went. Brandon went yeah. with Joel and Bernie. Bernie. Oh, right. The miniature barbed wire. Yeah. yeah. Barbed <laughs> Guess who wire. Yeah. hasn't been That could have been a thing. <laughs> that easily could have been a thing. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Nobody in Australia wants to see you, Barbara. Oh. I, I think like maybe one or two people might. They told me specifically. Send I'm the sorry. B team. So, maybe some of the Australia. older people that were in the... <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. Someone actually, they, some, some people did give me a letter to give to you. Yeah. Which I did. I delivered it. And they gave me a letter to give to Jack and Ray, and I gave them that too. And oh, then after, was after, it the same people? No, it was different people. Okay. I was going to say. After I, I gave the, the letter to Jack and Ray, Ray joked and was like, oh, sweet. Is, you know, is there heroin in there? Are there drugs in there? I was like, I'm never bringing a sealed envelope for someone else ever again. Oh, we, shit. Yeah, they could have been. They, they could have they put something in there to like screw with you, and then you get held up at the board. Like, I swear it's not mine. Wow. I'm just bringing that. Like, I'm not, don't give me shit to give to anyone else because I'm not doing it anymore. When you go to New Zealand, they don't have drug sniffing dogs, right? They have fruit sniffing dogs. I think they, they, they sniff for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, no, this dog doesn't <laughs> sniff for drugs. This dog just sniffs yeah. for fruit. I think the dog sniffs for both. Oh, uh, this pretty talented dog. You got some strawberries shoved up your ass. I think it's one or the other. I think the dog can smell multiple things. It's not like, this is the weed dog, this is the cocaine (laughs) dog, this is the heroin dog. It's the same fucking dog, dude. (laughs) They just add one more thing. They have fruit to it. Yeah, but it's like, if it has to smell for drugs and for fruit... Dude, drugs is multiple things. It doesn't it smell for Drugs is multiple things. Yeah, there's, lots, smells, of, there's lots of drugs. There's not smell, one you can smell, smell that cocaine. drugs have. Right. It's you can smell cocaine. Smell. I can't. I said a dog. No, but go, it's yeah, cocaine. That's what dogs are, that's what they're drug dogs. I haven't met a drug dog. I don't know. Well, well, well do you want to? Oh, he's, I mean, sorry, I was, he's only met fruit dogs. When I was in, <laughs> when I, I remember <laughs> going there, it's like there's nothing about... The, there's nothing. There's no warnings about anything but fruit. Like they're very particular about because well, you're not you supposed to take drugs anyway. Like it's not like they're warning at the airport. By the way, don't murder anyone. It's like that's understood. <laughs> there's a baseline level of laws that transfer everywhere. I guess those. There's no drug sniffing dog warnings in airports. Yeah, there has to be. No, because no, it's illegal. No, because you don't need. Yeah, don't murder anyone. Well, that's a good rule. Right. Okay. Yeah, but they don't need to put signs up telling you. <laughs> Apparently, if they're going to a- uh, Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't bring no, any I, apples. Here, with the you. thing about drugs, drug sniffing dogs is I I don't I've never been in an airport where I have drugs or anything like that. I always get really really scared. They they're I'm always afraid that they're gonna smell something on me. Yeah. Drugs? Not that I have, no, not that I have drugs on like me. Like bacon? I don't know. I just yeah, like I, I just get nervous. Dude, one time I went to um I think I was going in I was either going to Australia or New Zealand, yeah. one of them. And uh, you know when you get into the country you have to pick up your bags and then you go through like the, like the dogs come and they smell your stuff and then you go to like customs and immigration there was one dude i was standing next to you waiting for our bags his bag came off the belt he picked it up put it down and right then the the dog was coming by and it smelled his bag and sat down so the officer's like i need to go through your bag sir wow. and i'm standing right next to him because i'm waiting for my bag still they pull everything out of his bag look you know everywhere there's nothing in it yeah and the officer's like okay sorry for the inconvenience guy puts all this stuff back in the bag zips it up Picks up the handle, another dog comes by, smells it, and sits down immediately. The officer's like, we need to go through your bag, sir. And the guy's like, but that guy, he just went through my bag. (laughs) He's like, we need to go through your bag again, sir. Had to pull everything out again. Well, it's because the first was the drug dog, and that was the fruit (laughs) fruit dog. (laughs) He had fruit (laughs) drugs. (laughs) Did did they find anything the second time? Nothing. I had nothing. But it's like you said. He may have been in proximity to something. That's what I was afraid of. It's like I I go to my stoner friend's house, and I'm like near him too much or something. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> or like, what if you have like money on you that, because there's a lot of yeah. cocaine on dollar bills and stuff like there's that. There's also money sniffing dogs. Really? For like, if you have large quantities right. of money, right? If you're like oh, hiding really? large quantities oh, if you're of like money. trying to smuggle in, like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
So you learn something every day. Um, <laughs> what does that oh, look yeah, for, yeah, Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I went to, uh, you know, years ago, a long time ago, eight or nine years ago, I went to, um, to Tokyo. And over there, uh, like, pseudofedrin's illegal. So, like, pseudofed. You so they used to make meth, right? Right, because it's used yeah. uh, to make meth. I was convinced that I was going to have Sudafed in my bag by that, accident. Oh. That's, it's shit like that. It's I like emptied my bag like five times before I finally went. I was like, I, I don't want any Sudafed in that, in that bag. It'd be funny if you did all that work to make sure you didn't have Sudafed, and then you went to the airport, and then you realized you had meth. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. Well, there's no sign saying I can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. It's not like You're, I brought an wait, apple. Wait, so where, where is it illegal? In, in Japan. Japan? Yeah. Did you hear what happened in China recently? What? They banned wordplay and puns. In China? Oh my I didn't God. hear that. Did you hear about this? No. I don't know the details of it, but apparently in China they banned people making puns. What does that mean? I don't know, because apparently it was like being used to insult the government or something. No, I didn't I, read maybe the they said article. that. I think they just said it because it's not funny. But guess who's been tweeted that every day, all day, for the <laughs> last couple Because you can't go to China. And I'm like, darn. Guess I'll have to not go to China because I make puns. Yeah. Because I can't help myself. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, you don't, the last thing we'd want is you be thrown in prison. Then they probably have. Don't make pun signs. Yeah. They have pun sniffing dogs. They I have a person you. laughing and like a big X over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have someone going like this yeah. and a big X over it. <laughs> and someone it. like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one with the X through it. <laughs> um, so what else? I talked about Brisbane. We came back. Another long flight back. Um, on the way back, I had the ch- most chipper flight attendant ever. Which at fu- at first was fine. It's like, okay, this guy's really upbeat. But then by like hour 10, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like every single thing he said to me was a joke. Oh my God, that's obnoxious. It's on cocaine. It was, it's, like, uh, it's like if Michael Scott from The Office was your flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> That'd like, be incredible. Oh, oh no, after, for like 15 hours. <laughs> I, was, I, I just wanted to get off that fucking plane. Why don't you just give him a look? I couldn't. I, I felt bad. I don't okay. know. It's hard when you're like with someone. You can't leave and they can't leave. For, yeah. You We're have stuck to just there. be nice to And he's other. bringing me my food and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Do you feel obligated to laugh at everything you said too? Yes. Yes. I hate that. And then on the way, uh, that reminds me, on the way down there, I had an exit row seat and there was like a, a flight attendant jump seat like facing me. So on takeoff, on takeoff, you know, before this like 15 and a half hour flight, this flight attendant sits down and she's super chatty. And I'm like, well... She might be my flight attendant, so I'll like engage her. I'll like laugh at her stupid stories and whatever. So I'm like, she's like, she won't shut up. We finally take off. She goes to go do her job. Like, oh, okay, oh, she's the first class flight attendant. I'm not going to see her this whole flight. Uh, <laughs> no. And then we take the whole flight. Then you know, it comes time to land. You know, 15 hours later, she comes back to sit, and she's still super chatty. I'm like, no, you're like, <laughs> you, you mean nothing to me now. <laughs> like, I was, I didn't. I was like. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> engaging in this. It's only she like hooked you up with some first class like benefits. Yeah. Like the warm nuts or something. I warm my, nuts. I got, my, I got my own warm nuts. Yeah. First class get, I don't know if I'll say I'm on international flights, but uh, one time Bernie gave me his first class seat and he sat like in the back with someone else and they give you warm nuts. Like Give a bowl a of warm nuts. You've never had the warm I've nuts? I've never even had... I, I didn't know, they, I didn't know yeah. that was a thing. I, I on, you don't know what you're missing. So, I, 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 I'll admit it. I have enough miles to where I got upgraded on the way back to Business First uh-huh. for the flight from Australia. They had a build-your-own Sunday bar. What? What? The king, yeah, it's like you got a dish of vanilla ice cream, and they were like, what do you want on it? And there was like this huge tray with like oh every topping possible. like, oh, I'll take nuts and chocolate sauce and cherries and whipped cream. And it's like, like Fucking asshole. everything you can possibly imagine. They had a clown, it too. It was so good. Mm. It was so <laughs> See, when you said Sunday bar, I thought they meant like on the plane that you had to get up and go to. I was like, how big was this plane that yeah. they had like an actual bar no, on well, it? At, well, in the front, they actually have like a fresh fruit. <laughs> Maybe I'm spoiling too much. Um... The, in first class, they have a fresh fruit and uh, wine bar where it's like it's constantly anytime during the flight, you can get up and you can go to it. And like there's bottles of wine and fruit and cheese just laid out. Really? Yeah. And you can just like get whatever you want, pour your, pour your own wine. How do I get yeah, But if there's ever mass turbulence, aren't those all those <laughs> things just turn into deadly weapons? Yeah, I'm not sitting by that though. But I mean, it's gets in the air. It's going to yeah, like. Yeah, it's fine. Does the is, threat, is just, why just worth threat it? outweigh the benefit? No. No. I have a question. Why are warm nuts better? Like, uh, I nuts don't are know. hot. I don't know. I mean, until you well, nuts them. are hard and like... Uh, <laughs> <Nuts are> hot. <laughs> no, I mean, like, why are hot nuts good? <laughs> All right. Never mind. <laughs> so, Barbara, is there something you want to tell us? 
Nope. Um, but if you were oh. first class and someone gave you room temperature nuts, would you like be like? <laughs> I would feel well, like. Well, I guess they, uh, no. You throw it in their fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Just imagine, like for example, cashews. Do you like cashews? Yeah. Imagine you like keep it was like slightly warm. <laughs> Like I'm gonna just go. I'm. That. I'm gonna start microwaving. You <laughs> should. Nuts. It's delicious, and they give you like the hot towel and everything, and I like. Sounds like you. The hot towel is nice. Remember yeah. when they used to give you blankets? Yeah. The only time I really nice. had the hot Delta towel thing does. is that one haircut place that gives you a oh. hot towel. Yeah. Yeah. Hot towel. Hot towel. It's nice. It is. You can freshen up, clean up. A I bit. didn't know I was gonna be sitting in first class that time, and so I was like wearing my hockey jersey and <laughs> like. Boots. That's the best. I looked like a piece of shit. That's the best. I know. But I felt like really out of place because I was surrounded by businessmen who are all like in their mid fifties or something. Fuck them. And I think I was like twenty two at the time. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, sit, fellas. You should have been like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy put me here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, on the way back, like I, I and then on the L.A. to Austin flight, I was really tired, so I was trying to sleep. And I was like, like, imagine these are the armrests on the on the plane. Like I was in my inside my own armrest, and my arm not even on the armrest. But the dude next to me was working on a presentation on his laptop and was like elbowing me in my seat the whole fucking three hour flight from LA. I was like, dude, I just want to close my eyes and sleep. <laughs> Have you ever had the like, yeah, I, I was like, I hope you're in my head, I was just like, I hope your business fails. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the presentation bombs. I hope everyone boos you out of the meeting you're going to. This is actually 15 years ago, and that man worked at Enron. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever have you ever had like space battles on a on a plane? Not like space battles, like space invaders. I'm talking about like where you have your Personal arm space? somewhere, and then they put their arm there, and you're like, no, my arm is here. All right, now oh, back off. No, man. I'd be worried. Like, like if that's in a bathroom and you touch your toe on someone else's foot. <laughs> Like what it's if that's very like different, code? Brandon. Like if you it's you're a, on the armrest, yeah, that's very different. But it's just one of those things. Like, no, this is my this is where my arm was. You don't get to come and try and shove my arm well, out of the way. The way it works, if it's three seats, the window person doesn't get an armrest. The middle person gets both of them, and then the aisle seat gets the one on the end. Yeah, well, you understand that, and I understand that, but not some of the people. Yeah. Well, that, they they have if you got to get it. Always go like to the very back and just stick your elbow in there in the very back because then you get leverage uh, and you can do this and, you just and kinda, work the whole way up. Yeah, but where's that rule? Or it's like where, where, where's, where's this? Where's this rule? Written? They should be. You know, when you're waiting it's in security, courtesy. when it's like take off your shoes, don't have this in your bag. There should be like signs of the armrest rule. Yeah, I think they should put that in airports. Like you're in the middle. It's like come on. Yeah, you gotta you get got an armrest. You gotta have something. Yeah. You're in the worst position possible. You don't get a window, and you have to like bother someone if you need to get up to use the bathroom, which is my least favorite thing to do on an airplane. I'd rather sit on the aisle for that reason. Yeah. Because I'm so Canadian that I can't be like, excuse <laughs> <laughs> that's why I sit. That's why I prefer aisle as well. Yeah. This is, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to deal with anyone. Especially if they fall asleep, and then you're just like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, aisle seat closest to the front of the plane. I'm, 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 I, I, hate, I hate waiting, hate sitting there. I like the people. window. But I can just kind of lean on it. Nice. Watch for lightning. The best is planes <laughs> that only have like the <laughs> the aisle that's just one seat. Mm. When it's like you get both aisle and window seat. Yeah, yeah but you're on a tiny ass plane then. Yeah. You gotta it's fucking gate check your stupid bag and they're gonna yeah. put it. They're gonna fucking Dude, beat it up. Check your bags, man. I always check oh, my bags. Oh, God. It's Dude, so when great. When I went to Vegas this past weekend, I was just, I was there less than 24 hours. I just went with my backpack that I normally bring to work. I That's just put awesome. Like yeah, that is awesome. A, a cup, you know, some clean clothes in there and just went. It was fucking amazing. Was yeah. it better than when we went to Dallas? It's about the same. Except I was there like overnight, you know? Yeah, because we brought nothing with us to Dallas. Yeah. Like, not even a bag. Oh, that's right. I didn't, I didn't even take my backpack on that. And yeah. you all that, that, like, that was better. You all you smelled like pizza on the way back. Yeah. The plane. We were so full. So much pizza. Too much pizza. Yeah. There is, a, there is such a thing as too much pizza. I yeah. hate that you suggested we had pizza for lunch before doing the pizza. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Someone should have stopped. There were other options besides pizza. You were trying to set the palate. <sighs> well, at the time, like when we did the video, I guess I haven't even been on to talk about the, the podcast pizza. At the time, we, we were there at the Pizza Hut headquarters, and we knew that the menu was going to be new and like, oh, we're going to do all this new stuff. But so well, in my head, I was like, well, I'm going to eat the old menu stuff that they're selling out you know, like in the company cafeteria that we have a baseline to compare it to. <laughs> but then I realized I'd be eating pizza for like the next five hours. <laughs> yeah, Is that all they that. serve in the cafeteria? No, they had pizza. other stuff too. They had like wraps and salads and different stuff like that. Oh, that's good. Because yeah, it's also the same company owns like Taco Bell and KFC as well. I really? Think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. And Pepsi. 
it's all the same. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I, I should have got a wrap or something else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was. It was just. I just wasn't. Because I think we had. I think that would be seven slices of pizza that day. We I, didn't eat all of it. But I think it was, I thought it was more than that. It was so much. Yeah, because we had the at lunch, and then we tried three different pizzas, and then we each made a pizza. Yeah, it's like seven. Too many. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. got a thirty-inch pizza today. Yeah, yeah it we was did big. get a thirty-inch pizza. It was later. intimidatingly big. It's uh, well, I, I, what would happen when you, you look, look at it. Mariel went to go get it. Oh, there. <laughs> 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 Mar- luckily, Mariel has like an SUV. She was able to transport it in the back of her oh, SUV good. successfully. Yep, there it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think we're making jokes that she'd have to strap it to the top of her car. Oh, she just had to take Brandon and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the side and hold on to it on the top. Uh, but we also got the uh, the Pizza Hut Rooster podcast pizza as well. This is the f- this is actually the first time I'd eaten it since we actually made it because I yeah. think the menu launched when I was traveling and yeah, it was uh, mid November or yeah. end of November. Yeah, so uh, this is like this is the first time we've really been back and had a chance to try it. It's funny. Um, my parents they watch the podcast and everything, and they know about the podcast pizza. And I told them that I'd ordered it to my apartment because I wanted to have it one day, and they're just like, "Oh, did the person delivering be like, oh, you're." This is your pizza. And I'd be like, no, because they just work at Pizza Hut. They don't, they're not all Rooster Teeth fans <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. And it was just like, I was like, yeah, I don't, it'd be cool if we got it for free. But yeah. We <laughs> that that would have been funny though. If the kid was like delivering it and then you open the door and he knew who you were. Yeah. I would think like if they delivered it here, they'd be like Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth. <laughs> well, we don't, our building doesn't have a do? sign, though. They were like, well, this is the run. They didn't, what if you didn't order the Rooster Teeth pizza? <laughs> we ordered, like, I just Dean's pizza or something like that. <laughs> we, uh, when we were back in the annex. Like, you can't have this. You're not <laughs> I just <Dean." laughs> When we were back in the annex, we always got delivery. And I remember there was that one time that, um, we threw a party for our delivery driver. We have an RT life in. with that. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Google it. <laughs> we do. Yeah, well, now, now I don't want to continue because it's like, well, we already oh, have it. was actually his birthday, right? Huh? It was actually his birthday? I don't think so, no. We just wanted to throw a party for him. We, we thought it'd be nice. It was his birthday. We didn't know. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That's he, right. he was like, he was like did you how know did you know? Birthday? <laughs> <laughs> birthday. Like, oh, yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 it was so weird. <laughs> and then there was like 10 minutes. It was minutes really awkward, it. too. He was like, how did you guys know? <laughs> It was like 10 minutes to the podcast, too. So we're just like, all right. Uh, get out. Get out. Yeah. I think I had a boom box and was playing music, too. You did. You were holding it over your head. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was a fun time. <laughs> I miss the old office. Man, you didn't, li- yeah. you didn't work in that annex. No, I don't miss the it annex. It was 100 degrees or it was 40 degrees. Mm-hmm. We I definitely thought about that this summer during the heat of the summer and now that it's getting cold outside. So we don't have those heaters. Yeah. Hidden around no, me, no, keeping no. me warm. We didn't have a heater. You had a heater behind That's your chair. That's what you said. We didn't have the heaters around me, keeping <laughs> me warm. That's what I said. King Gus. Listen. When you say we. Yeah, we didn't have the heaters around me. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a Secret Santa again we, this, this year. Me. You're not doing Secret Santa, though. No, I'm not doing Secret Santa. I know who has you. You do? For Secret Santa, yeah. Cool. I don't. Um, but last year, Brandon got me. As Secret Santa. We had a Secret Santa last year? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Last, last uh, December. And Brandon uh, came in and he had a gift bag with him. And I was really excited because everyone was getting these really thoughtful gifts for everybody. And he came in and he handed it to me and he goes, you know, here, this is for you, Barbara. And I, like, I was really excited. I'm like, oh, thanks, Brandon. And I open up and it's fucking cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about this. You were fucking pissed. I was, was so, so mad. I thought you think it was funny. Cold? Yeah. I went online. <laughs> I went. And it was not easy to get real coal. Like, you could have thrown this in a train and it would have, like, you know. It would have gone. Powered that train. <laughs> but here's the thing is that, like, he gave that to me and he's like, all right. And he's like, you don't think it's funny? I was like. Haha, <laughs> okay, thanks. D- where's the real gift? <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he's just like, oh, this is like what I got you. And oh I'm like, no, really? And he's like, no, this is what I got you. And I was like, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam and Adam, who I shared an office with at the time, were so like, they felt so bad for me because I was like visibly upset that they went out to Target and bought me like a present. They bought yeah, me like I blankets heard about and that. Starbucks gift cards and stuff. <laughs> Because they felt so sorry, but it turns out Brandon actually had a gift for me the next day. He was day. doing the long con, but the ass it was, it was that yeah. night. It was that night. <laughs> he had to order something on overhead no, delivery. Night. It yeah. was that night. <laughs> Same yeah. day delivery. Where'd you get that from? No, it was all stuff from like Toy Joy. 
which you could have gone to that day. <laughs> no, I, it was because remember when you moved here, uh, was a year before. Yeah. It was like all the Christmas stuff. So yeah, it was like I've always, full almost circle. been here for three years. It's crazy. Yeah. My visa got renewed, so three more years of me. We're stuck with you. Three more years. <laughs> three more <laughs> years. Uh, Yvonne keeps telling me to get married. <laughs> she doesn't want to deal with my visa anymore. <laughs> it's a long process. Yeah. I think like two years ago, I had to like start the conversation with you like, do you want to stay? Should we work on starting the renewal process? Yeah, I remember You were like, that. yeah. I was like, all right. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. We were going to... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> How long would you have to stay married to somebody if you married them and got well, a visa? No, I, th- I, don't, I don't think it's like you have to be married to, for them for, to them for a while. I think it's just like you have to know them for a while before getting married. I think you have to, I think you have to be... I think you can't get a like permanent budget. visa until you're married for a while. Right. Uh, I, I think you get your green card pretty much like you could apply for it right away. I think it, there's like a two year delay or something. Yeah, like they, you can't just get married and you get your green card. Right. I know, I know. But Katie you can stay hers. as long as you're married. Right? Katie and Jack have only been married for a year, and oh, she really? got hers. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's exceptions with some countries. Maybe there was that show on TLC for a while earlier this year. I don't know if you ever saw it. It's called Ninety Day Fiance. No. Where these guys meet women on the internet and they come to the U.S. and they have like a 90-day visa to decide whether or not they want to get married. <laughs> like a mail order bride? Kind of. Audition. It's like an audition. Yeah. And then yeah. it's like they either give up on the dude and go back home or they decide to get married and they, but they only have 90 days to figure it out. Oh, the girls were deciding. Right. I thought it was like mm. the guys were deciding. No, no. The, no, the guys will take anything. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. That's messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, painfully awkward to watch. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it was. It, 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 I think it ran earlier this year. There's, there's a, there's so many fucking reality shows. Like, you sent me that video earlier today of that high speed chase in L.A. Oh, that was so great. It was like this guy was like trying to get away from the cops, going like 90 miles and an hour. We've all seen like you know these high speed chases, and they always end the same way. Like, Typical L.A. chase. Yeah, you know they corner you, and then you get out, and you kind of like um, run away, and they tackle you. Yeah, this guy had a longboard skateboard that he jumped out what? of the car with. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, That's he's really like a ninja cool. turtle, like skateboarding across the street. He like ran a bit to get across the street, got on the sidewalk and threw the skateboard down and tra- started trying to skate away. Did yeah. he get away? He wasn't very good. Like, uh-huh. he, it. he was also probably really frazzled, I imagine. Yeah, he was also kind of fat. Not on his game. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, then the cops get him. But oh, so then the interesting thing to me is like we talk about I was just saying how there's so many reality TV shows. So the guy like gives up on the skateboard, starts running. Then like this big pickup truck like tries to block him. Then he runs around the truck and the truck like cuts him off and like basically pretty much pins him against a wall. The dude who was driving the truck used to have a reality TV show. What? what? You didn't watch the whole video clip then, did you? Not all of it. So then the guy in the b- red pickup who cuts him off used to have like a, a, a car repossessing reality TV show where he would go about around and repossess people's cars. That's crazy. And now he catches... And now he... Yeah, he Comes full circle. It's like... It's Good just, for it's him. Like typical LA to me. It's like everybody's an actor. Everybody's it, working everybody's on Everybody's been in a movie. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, this guy who was formerly on the Repo Man reality TV show. It's like a Balloon Boy a few years ago. Oh, God. You know, it was like the kid, everybody thought he was stuck in this, um, this giant, uh, no, he was stuck in like a little cradle and, uh, under this big weather balloon and he wasn't in there and they found out that he was hiding in the attic, but it turned out that the dad had like created this big stunt, publicity stunt and made his son lie about it. And they used to have their own reality show on, um, they, no, they were on like trading mothers or something. They were on wife swap. I think swap. is what it was. Yeah. Training Training <laughs> Training. Um, Mom, sorry. It's the same thing. <laughs> I'll give you ten bucks for her. They, her cookie and cookies and all it's all way better. <laughs> I uh, like your incomplete thoughts, Chris. I think yeah. I've I've I know the uh the way to get famous now is to be on a cereal commercial. Cereal? Yeah. I don't know if you saw the video on Reddit. It's uh like stars before they were famous. Oh. They all did cereal commercials. Are you talking about uh uh, what's the name from Breaking Bad? Yeah, he was yeah. on the serial commercial. Aaron Paul? Keanu Reeves. Like, ev- I wish I could name more of them, but it yeah, was... Aaron Paul was on Honeycomb? No, no, it, it was, it was uh, Corn Pops. Corn Pops. Dude, Tony Hale, uh, Buster from Rest of Development, was on a lot of really famous TV commercials. He was on the first Yo Quiero Taco Bell commercial. Really? Yeah, he was in that uh, that car commercial where he's like doing all There's this weird robot, stuff, yeah. and then they open the he door, was in there? and it's the Roboto music. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the one who's dancing, and there's a there's a lot more. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's. 
You gotta get your start. Did you, yeah, you gotta get your what start What did you want to be when you grew up? Gotta have my pups. What did I want to be when I, I... I wanted to work in the video game industry. I wanted to make I wanted to make video games. Yeah. I haven't made a video game, but I kind of work in the video <laughs> yeah, industry, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can. Yeah. Kind of got there. So I went to PlayStation Experience. Oh, oh that's awesome. I guess I should talk about it. Let's talk, talk about a segue um, in, uh, in Vegas. And while I was there, they announced how you could get the 20th anniversary PS4. And they're like, it's on sale now. It's like, fuck i'm not at my computer so like instantly i tried to like go to the sony store on my phone but it was like it was loading so slow and i kept trying to add to cart and like the store kept crashing because i guess they had so much traffic never got to order one they sold that out. sucks but i, I got so to see excited. one they had one on display there i was like oh it looks cool yeah. <laughs> wish i could have played i wish i could have got one um yeah it was cool we got to see a lot of uh, a lot of new stuff that they're working on so i tweeted that mlb the show had the best booth i've ever seen at any it's a good game, game too. Uh, and it's because they basically made a working sports bar in the convention center. Whoa. And all of the displays were, it will be the show. Like you could walk up to any of them and play. And there was a bar you could buy fucking beer at. Are like, you serious? Yeah. That's really cool. They totally recreated the actual, like a, a sports bar in there down to the fact you could buy beer and watch baseball, you know? Yeah. That's really, really cool. That game's awesome too. Mm. And I'm, I never, never played it, but I want to play it now. Yeah, I drank a beer. Yeah, it's booth. like <laughs> God. It's it's like you want to like certain things when they put in that extra effort, you know, with all the big attention to detail. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just not assumed. Like, not everybody just does it. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a lot of creativity. You have chocolate all over your arm. I know. Oh I, my I, god. <laughs> Oh, oh it's on your shirt God. and your <laughs> What the hell? You know, I've 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 been watching that for the last like twenty minutes and I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not as big of a man as you because Barbara, at first I, I thought had it was poo, out. and then I realized it was just chocolate. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like you shit yourself, dude. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Dude, it's I was everywhere. like, what is that on Brent? <laughs> Why did I use the napkin earlier? <laughs> I, I brought the napkin <laughs> specifically for that reason. Here, I, <laughs> I was using this. That oh, was yeah, my system. The, the, yeah, we failed miserably. We, we found it's one weakness. So we should uh, probably mention Brandon. that anybody who buys something from the RT store today is entered in a chance to win a signed Rooster Teeth, uh, sorry, RVB oh, box set. set. Yes. So if you, uh, any of the stores, UK, Australia, or the international store, if you buy something, anything, doesn't matter what, today, um, so if you're watching this live, you still have a chance. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this, it's yeah, over. You're fucked. Yeah. Um, but you have a chance to win a signed RBB box set. We have this cool new figurine too. Yes, uh, we have Jean in the store now uh, from Ruby, if anybody's not familiar with him. And then 15% uh, off shirts right now in the store as well. So go so check that out. On Monday, the 8th of December. Yes. 2014. And I, yeah, we're, I think we're going to have <laughs> another sale before Christmas starts, but oh. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, the last day to get stuff is the 16th of nice. December. You read my mind. Yes. In the U.S. The U.S., yeah. And we have everything on the front page of the website, all of the different cutoff dates mm -hmm. for different types of shipping uh, everywhere in the world. Um, I want to talk about PlayStation Experience a little more, but before I talk about that, I want to say I'm, I'm sorry I missed Podcast 300. Uh, you know, this Podcast 301, I felt like it was such a big milestone. Um, so I feel like for th I don't want to wait till 400. So for 350, we're going to do something nice. Yes. Careful. We're going to do something. We're, we'll, we'll do something special for, for 350. I won't. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll start working on it now. <laughs> so we'll get there. What would that be? That'd be. It's like a year from now. About Thanksgiving? Around yeah. Thanksgiving? 49 weeks from now. So yeah, yeah around Thanksgiving next year. Um, mm -hmm. So PlayStation experience was really cool. There were a ton of big titles there. You could play like I saw. The Order 1886, uh, some of the new stuff they announced. But there was a huge, like, indie section as well. And I went through and I, I talked to a bunch of those guys and played a bunch of those games. There were a lot of, like, indie developers from Central and South America. Really? Oh, yeah? It was, I was, it was, it was really, it really stood out to me. Enough that it, like, stood out. Like, holy crap, there's, there's quite a few here uh, with different games. That's really cool. How are the games? They're fun. There's, they're, I mean, uh, you see a lot of influence. Like, I played one... Um, what was it called? Um, it was like a combination of like, kind of like, it made me think of Super Meat Boy meets the Stanley Parable, kind of. Hmm. Uh, God, they're going to kill me because I don't remember the name of it. I think it started <laughs> with an L. Was it Lucas? I can't help uh, you. <sighs> I'm I feel terrible now. <laughs> Those guys were fans too. They asked me to play their game and I can't remember the name. But it was good. Not the on so the podcast. So if you see a well, game developed in Latin America. I think they were from Ecuador. PS4, oh, 
in the game. <laughs> Let's see how, how much this fails me. Yeah, uh, yeah, tons of them. Upcoming, yep, yeah, 12 new, yep. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to be able to find that. I'll, I'll tweet it later, or I'll, I'll make a journal entry about it. It was fun. Um, then, yeah, like I said, like, you know, the show was there and all the big titles. They had a huge, like, main ballroom. Didn't I just see and host something there? Yes, yeah, she was there for, she was actually there for the Game Awards. Oh, okay. Which was unrelated to PlayStation Experience, but I'm sure they were somehow related. Cause there was a, like, crossover. She's, time. So, she's so, so busy. Close. Yeah. yeah, we were in Vegas for I don't know for what it was for NAB or something, and she was hosting. We just ran in her, and she was hosting something else. She's a lot of fun. Like she's one of the nicest people that I've met. Yeah, like outside yeah. the company. Like she on works the, extremely hard, and I don't think she gets recognized that for that a lot. No, and she's super super down to earth. Yeah, yeah, and fun to hang out with. Yeah, Absolutely. I ran into her at the at the uh, Halo launch as well. Yeah, she's everywhere. Yeah, she's constantly traveling. Yeah, she, I mean, and then I think. The day after the Game Awards in Vegas, she like left to San Jose to do something at Intel. Yeah, That's and I, crazy. I think she was tweeting that she hadn't slept all night. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, she hard hard worker, always doing tons of stuff. Yeah, the whole family is pretty talented. Yeah, they all yeah they all do all the Xerix. Uh, yeah. yeah, strong genetics. Yes, we were just talking about that earlier today. Yeah. I think right. I said jeans, and then people thought that was weird. So now Blaine made a comment like, oh, "I bet they're all Abercrombie or something." <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So also I got and to see... And he snickered to himself. Uh, I, I gave him a high five. <laughs> Feels good. I also got to see Drawn to Death, which is that new uh, game they uh, announced, which is like a shooter, but has like a like a doodle look to it. I don't know if you saw any of the uh -uh. of the, the, the gameplay or the concept art. It's like, imagine if like a sketchbook, like where someone just doodles, like you're bored in school and you yeah, just yeah. like make doodles. That's what the game looks like. So it's like, uh, you know, what was that? E, uh, e Grounds or no? Where it's, it was stick death. Oh, something like that. Yeah, but imagine, like, but if it was like first person shooter and okay. a little more polished. But you know what I mean? Just yeah. like how everyone, all, you'd watch all those videos of stick men fighting each yeah. other. Did you ever see the one where um, the stick men leave the screen and they're fighting in oh, After and then Effects? They become, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you see really them cool. fighting on the desktop of the computer. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was like two, 2000. Like that was like the really popular video series. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, what else did I do? Went to the PlayStation Experience. Went to Halo. What Lodge. else did I get to do? Well, I gotta talk. Travels. I've been gone for five weeks. I want to try to explain. That's good because we did nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like Chris and I were like before the podcast. We're like, all right. Well, what's what's been happening with us? Did you there, watch there any of the podcasts? No. God, y'all are terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I, the internet's so shitty. Like overseas, I, I didn't watch any Rashid content. I spent most of last week trying to get caught up on everything that we've released. And it's, I'm, I'm still not It's been up. crazy. Um, but I went to this fucking great dumpling place or gyoza place in Brisbane called Harajuku Gyoza. Oh, that's cool. And uh, they have this thing called frosted beer where you order a beer and it comes in a glass and then the top is like, you know, like icy. Yeah. But beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really cool. So it's actually frosted. Yeah. It's like. A uh, normal beer and then topped with like beer icy. Oh, did they have? Uh, it's really good. And then if you order sake, <laughs> like all everyone comes and starts screaming at you in Japanese, and they pour the sake and like everyone starts cheering. It's I think you would hate. Really I thought I would think cool. you would hate that when yeah. people come and yell at you. I, I I had to do it once so that we could uh, get a video of it, and uh, my wife took a little vine of it. But yeah, it's that place was fucking loud. Have you ever done a sake bomb? No. Those what is fun. that? It's it's basically like a Jaeger bomb but with sake and I think it's sake and beer. Mm, yeah. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, no, it is. It's it's better than the Jaeger bomb. And I've seen people do it like the legit way where it's like balanced on two um, chopsticks and they like slam the table until it falls in. Oh. It's really intense. What was the name of the a place? A lot of screaming. Harajuku Gyoza. Do they have waiters or waitresses with like really crazy costumes? Um because that's like the Harajuku district, right? No, no, Japan, they weren't wearing like, like crazy costumes. They oh. were all Japanese. Uh -huh. uh, but they were wearing like, you know, they had like a, a uniform, but it wasn't like crazy. The name, it wasn't Lucas, it was Klaus. K-L-A-U-S. The guys were from Venezuela. Not oh, Ecuador. okay. The guys from Ecuador made another game called To Leave, which I didn't get a chance to play because there was a line for it. But uh, it looked really cool as well. Um, but yeah, those guys. Klaus. How, how long a line? How, how It wasn't that long, but... My time was so limited. Right. I was trying to make sure I could see as much as I could. Well, what's what's the longest line you'll wait for before you'll just be like, I don't care what I'm doing. Maybe for one you. person. 
Really? <laughs> that's not a line, you know. Uh, if I if I make the line, that's it. <laughs> we uh we went to Torchies today. The new Torchies tacos by our office. Everyone and, went to that fucking. And Torchies the today. line was like thirty minutes long. So we went next door to this uh, kebab place, and I was just thinking, their slogan should be Torchies too long. Come to our place, because <laughs> I bet you that's ninety percent of the people that they get. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to leave Torchies and go to Verts. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. The, the line was so long. The line long. wasn't yeah. bad. It was the wait to get the tacos. I think it was like 30 minutes. Yeah, I think we waited 10 minutes in the line. Not even, I think. Yeah, and then yeah. like 30 minutes to get the food. Yeah. That, that, we had to park at the H-E-B parking lot. Yeah, what? it's crazy. There was no parking. There was no parking. And then we were leaving. That's where there my was like eight open. <laughs> <laughs> right by the Torchies. I was like, where's the most convenient dentist possible yeah we played smite right before you had to go yeah, yeah. and we were like it was 2 30 and matches usually last about 20 minutes in smite and chris is like all right well let's start playing now and we're like wait why are you rushing he's like well i have to go to the dentist we're like what time's your appointment he's like three o'clock i'm like <laughs> it's 2 30 now you should be leaving now and he's like well it's just that's why i had to brush my teeth in the car because <laughs> i was like we just we finished and i was like i gotta go <laughs> and that's why, that's why i dropped toothbrushes the whole yeah. match he's like I, I need to brush my teeth i need to go brush my teeth did you like, win hurry up guys huh? hurry up did you win yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. i got my cavities filled so you know what win-win we're a pretty solid team i think we could take anybody on in the office i want to have another smite tournament yeah i think we would win yeah we picked our own teams five versus five blaine was really upset when i said that he wasn't going to be on our team yeah he gets upset a lot you guys are giving him a lot of shit recently no you were in that game yeah i wasn't giving him any shit he was mad at jordan and game he we had a a smite game two days ago yeah no it was was, it was before the weekend yeah it was like thursday and uh blaine was playing a new character and he was just like sucking like he was just not having a good game and these guys were giving him a really hard time john and jordan were teasing him and, like, the more self-conscious Blaine got, the more aggressive and mean he got. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how he deals with vulnerability. And instead of taking, just being, oh, sorry, guys, his first character. He was just, like, lashing out at everybody. And apparently over the weekend, you guys were trying to, like, every game you would play, you would try to get, like, oh, you blamed it. As, like, <laughs> yeah. you were trying to get that trending. <laughs> That's not the first time we we yeah, that's, used that, that term. That we, term has been we need to make this, like, an official smite term. Like when a, you no, fuck no, up. no, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, life, <laughs> a life term. <laughs> like, oh, you really blamed up that report. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got to a point where Blaine's character was getting attacked by like a puma, like a cat in the game. We all were just like watching. Yeah. Just like, oh, well, that sucks. Well, typical. I mean, you are named Blaine, so I figured you'd Blaine it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris, we get it. I wanted really to sink in. I got to let it home. sink in. He's going to hate that we brought it up on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. well, no, he's just probably he's just probably going to keep being angry and saying mean things. Probably. All right. Well, let's, we should wrap it up. Oh, should we? We're about time. Yeah. Oh. So I uh, want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to check out Screenplay tomorrow where I guess these guys have something planned. Something planned. We're going to talk some Die Hard, which we're excited about. And we all, saw, we all saw a lot of movies. Chris on and Stellar. I saw nightcrawler a lot of fun topics that's at 4 p.m central tomorrow it's 4 p.m central and it will come out on wednesday afternoon then, on then our wen- site wednesday at four we stream the patch mm-hmm. then thursday we stream on the spot at five are you, o'clock are you on, then, on the spot this week yes i think we're allowed to talk about that no i am yeah i yeah. couldn't i was remembering and this and is gonna know be it all is on friday yep okay at one o'clock hey i remembered them all so check out all that stuff if you're a sponsor you can see it all live if not you can watch it the next day or something. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back uh, next Monday after all of that with another episode of RT Podcast. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye.